I think it's working. I think everything is working properly. Friends? I love the RuneScape theme. This is my starting soon screen. I should probably have somewhere on the scene the word starting soon. Banjo, I believe you are first. Congratulations. Happy Saturday. Cheese, good to see you. How is everybody? Happy Saturday. This is the last run we have in solitude. Um, I just don't think that there's a whole lot more that we can do in solitude. So today we'll be... Uh, Today we'll be doing one one last recording. Jesus, I think at this point I have, I think I have like almost 10 hours of footage. The When we did the White Run video, we had like seven hours of footage. But this one was a lot different. Uh, and I'm glad we did it. We've discovered quite a lot. So the last few objectives that I want to do today, last few objectives that I want to do today are... Uh, feed on the royals in the blue palace. So wait until everyone in the blue palace is asleep and then feed on them. Um, I want to break into a few more of the houses that are in town if we can. I also want to steal everything from the traders. All the traders in town, I want to clear out their entire houses and sell their stuff back to them so we can get that footage captured. Captured. Because we got we got level 90 speech for that purpose, so we should get that done. Uh, and then the last thing that I want to do is, just like the White Run video, I want to get everyone in town. Or first, what I want to do is I want to try and disarm everybody in town. I want to try and disarm everybody that I can in town, and then I want to aggro everyone in town like we did in White Run. Except this time, none of them will have weapons, because I'll just take their equipped bows and arrows and swords and whatnot. Get them all into a giant group, and then wabajack everybody. Happy Saturday, Iliath. Hope everyone is doing well, and hopefully no more, no more plate glitching. Also, we do we have a new stream background. Prometheus, how are you? First stream, welcome. Um. Also, yeah, we did we did the background a little bit. We added a few new toys here. Uh, chat is covering him up rudely, but Rufus is right to my side with a plate of churros. James Corden is still the co-host. We're, we're trying to find a uh, a new co-host. Oh, my bad. It said uh, it, it's a first first time chatting. Miss Mara, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I saw quite a few of your comments on some of my older videos. I appreciate you going back and watching uh, and especially dropping by the stream to say hi. 
No, Primitios, absolutely no worries. No worries. You no need to be shy, but we, of course, appreciate anybody who watches in any capacity, but everyone is welcome here. Um, but uh, no worries, Miss Mario, if you can't catch the lives. I will always try and edit the lives in some capacity into uh, a digestible 12 to 13 minute YouTube video. Uh, Caius is smoking. He's he's actually he's hitting the uh, he's hitting the pipe. Yeah, they're looking at they're looking at Mickey right above my head in the window. Oh, I wish my hands could go up there. My green screen cuts it off. They're, they're looking they're looking at him. He's trying to claw his way in through the window. Um, but yeah, we added Moira Brown. <laughs> She's petting the deer. Maybe I think I could sell that just a little bit. She's petting the deer. Um, and then depending on how much time we have left, we might just stream some casual Fallout 3. I started a new save last night, and I mentioned yesterday that it would be a fun challenge to try and make 1 million caps in Fallout 3, so I decided to see what I could do to optimize making cash. Also, SN, good to see you again. Been quite a while. Um... I think we are good to go. We'll see how this goes. Let me get the make sure I have the objectives marked down. Beat on the Royals in the Blue Palace. Steal everything from all traders. Break into some houses. Disarm everyone. Aggro everyone. Wabajack. All right, RuneScape soundtrack, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Now, I'm wondering, guys, since at the, at the end of the stream yesterday, I started getting bored and just sniping people in the marketplace, but I think I want to try and maybe load an older save. I kind of want to load an older save so we can get those people back, because for the final showdown of collecting everyone and wabajacking them all, I think that that would be just a tad better. Hold on, let's just let's just get to our latest save, see where we're at. Get our bearings back again. Whose house was I in? Oh, Jari Ra was chasing us down to try and kill us. Ran into the blacksmith to avoid him. And then I think this is where we got caught in our death loop. So where's my last save before? Oh, wow. Yeah, no, we're going to keep those people in the marketplace dead. <laughs> Because I'm going to lose almost two hours of progress if I don't. So we've already cleared out the blacksmith. We already cleared out the Fletcher. The entire marketplace. We didn't even get caught for this. Look at the damage. Greta is down. Oh, here's the fish we shot. We did. We shot a salmon. Oh, no. There's the salmon we shot. The arrow's still stuck. Advar. Everyone at the marketplace. Whoa. Hey. Relax, Solana. Jeez. Have some respect for the dead. Get back in there. We have to hide our dirty deed. Can't get caught. Remember, guys, we're supposed to be undercover. If we hide the bodies, then no one will find them. No one will know. Get in there. Perfect. That... She could blend in with the, uh... <laughs> she could blend in with the cabbage. She's wearing green, the cabbage are green. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Get in there. Oh, no, don't. Why are your why is your back bending? We just broke her in half. She's broken. 
Come on, Yvette, don't be shy. There you go, there you go. All right, Greta. I feel bad for Greta. I don't even think I, mem I, I meant to snipe her. She was just collateral damage. No, Greta, get in there. You're sleeping over with your friends and you're not gonna complain. That's what we like to see. Come on, Advar, get your legs up. Bend the knee. Bend the knee. Get your leg. Ah, get in there. Don't fight it. There we go. Everybody looks nice and comfortable. Not a trace of wrongdoing here whatsoever. I wonder if the other NPCs are going to still walk around this marketplace and try to shop. It is. It's going to smell horrible. We're going to have to get new car smell fragrance trees. <laughs> Smells like an Audi. Also, you know what I realized the other day, guys, is ever since I streamed Morrowind multiplayer the other week, all of my, uh, oh my god, how many people died over here? Oh, what happened? None of your what, business. What happened? Sorex, Vinius is down. Octave sound. We all right. We gotta stop killing people. I'm taking all of this though, and all of that, and all of that. Everyone's naked. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, close your eyes, children. I swear this is not against TOS. We just have to make sure that you know we. Worship the dead. You know that we honor the dead properly. I didn't kill Leany and Murphy, did I? Did Leany and Murphy die? Uh, well, he's not working his post. Leany and Murphy might actually have died. <laughs> All right, it's time some. It's it's time someone cleans up these streets. to use his head as a broom. Ah, oh, there's just so much dust everywhere. Why use a broom when you can use a solitude guard? Scrub a dub dub. I mean, look at all the dirt in between the road cracks. Someone's got to clean that up. It might as well be this guy's shoulder blade. And, and, uh, there you go. Hey, get in there. He looks comfortable, actually, laying across the top. Very cozy. Belrin's still standing here. May the gods watch over your back. All right, Belrin, we're officially that's what not are. partners anymore. I'm watch done with you. Back. Now, we might have killed the owner of Radiant Raymond. Oh, we didn't. Okay, we're going to take every... Did I get caught? I almost got caught. That was close. Need her key. Take her ring as well. Anything of value we got to take out of this place. And anything of value to me is everything. Get out of here. None of your business. Ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am. Stop. I have very... I have important business to handle in here. Enough. I, yeah. Oh, I thought we actually had her there. I'm going to keep doing it until she gives up. Stop. Oh, what the... Now that's not fair. You can't just cheat like that. Yeah, go back out the door. Hey, that isn't your oh shit! <laughs> she caught us. All right, you know what? I'm tired of her. I'm not gonna kill her. Oh, damn, I'm not invisible anymore. Oh, they caught me. Are you serious? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? All right, they're they're gonna overlook it. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so lenient. Thank you, officer. Gosh, I'm in the middle of robbing her. Any chance you could overlook this robbery? All right. Ah, that bastard's good, man. 
you can't see us from there. I'm taking her baskets. I'm taking everything from her. <laughs> Even the books. You're not raiding Argonian account. Oh, 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 she's almost got us. She's tracking us down. Oh, Damn, she's found us. That's a big bag of gold, though. There has to be a way I can... Oh, she can't see us. I'm so good at sneaking, I'm able to disappear while in the same room with her. I'm able to, I'm able to make physical objects disappear in front of her face. Including my entire self. You didn't see nothing. You saw nothing and you shall say nothing. I can't wait to sell all this back to her. Why is this working? Why, why is this working? Ah, I gotta get her to move. Let's get her to move across the room. Come over here. If we get her to move across the room... Oh, no. I I can hide. As long as I stand on top of the candlestick, I can hide. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Oh, no. I'm stuck. She caught us. All right, ma'am, I'm going to sell you everything that I just stole from your room right in front of you, if you don't mind. Yeah, take this basket, this bowl. Yeah, just, just, yeah, take all of this. Just take everything I have. Just take it all. I, I have no care for it. I'm not really in this for the money anymore. Although I kind of am in this for the money. $30 for the whole, like, I mean, if you've never played Skyrim before or you haven't played it in a long, long time and you're planning on doing a playthrough, yeah, I think it's totally worth it. Wait, why'd she walk away? She let, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Nope, you didn't see me. You didn't see it. So as long as I, as long as I interact with her, she'll walk away. Oh, what a, excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made the Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. All right, let's invest in her store now. I'm a venture capitalist. Oh, no. Oh, we almost... Almost got away with that. Although it doesn't say in here that I'm stealing. If I invest in the store, can I take what I want? I can. It's not even stealing. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on a second. None of it's stealing anymore. I just take it. Did you guys know that? If you invest in a store, you can just take... Oh, you can take anything under 100 gold. So what? I can just invest in a store, take whatever I want, sell it back and return my investment that quickly? Let's head over to the Winkins Caver. Staunch protectors. You know, here, you ain't. I'd like you to have this as a token here, of my friendship. Take this. Friendship? What? Are we friends? Since when are we friends? Why are why are we friends? Your skin's as Take a look. Immediately just sell him back the book he gave us as a as a gift. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. So I can't actually invest in the Winking Skeever. Can't invest in this place. Sad face. That's no fun. <clears throat> but I bet I can invest in Angeline's aromatics. Might be his friend because I hired Belrand and I killed Sorex. Really? I don't know why that would be, but I'm not denying it. 
or I'm not going to complain. I don't know why I'm even stealing from her. It's Angeline, I would like to invest in this business. With the, if you change your mind. Oh, wait, no. Splendid. Well, I'll call upon my suppliers this very evening and arrange to double my orders. And there you go. Invest in her store, you can take whatever. No, no, wait, hold on. This potion is still stealing. Maybe it's 50 gold. Maybe 50 gold is the limit. She still follows me around this store, though. Hey, I, I own. I am a shareholder. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, crap. I actually got myself caught. God damn it. I'm not going to be able to talk this one out either. I'm going to have to give up my stolen goods. Angel Dusk, how are you? Welcome. Easy. All right, I'll pay off my 24 gold bounty. I'll give back my stolen goods. Oh, these guys are armed again. How many times do I have to tell you this? No weapons. All right, we've robbed the stores enough times. Let's take away all of the guards' weapons. As many of the guards as we can. If we disarm everybody and then aggro everybody all at the same time, Actually, I don't want to do that yet. No, 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 no. That's that. That's not what comes next. What comes next is we have to go feed. Um, yeah. So Brooke, if you do want to get into alchemy, there's a few really, really easy potions at the beginning of the game that are always going to be solid for you. Uh, blue mountain flower and grain combined to make health potions which are going to be useful for you to use, or if you want to make money off of them, they're always going to be useful. Right here, like this, Blue Mountain Flower. And, um... Traveler. All that. Uh, early on in the game, I would loot the entire inventories of enemies and just try to sell as much as you can. That's always pretty helpful. And definitely, yeah, get a follower. Okay, so if we wait until nighttime, let's wait until 3 a.m. in the Blue Palace. We can sit here all night long. We will wait. No, Skyrim's, Skyrim is pretty easy. Um, I like to play on, what difficulty is it? If I'm playing like on my own save, I think Expert is the most fun uh, that's the most fun difficulty to play on because a lot of the fights usually require multiple skills to get through and you'll have to you'll be like switching between items quite a lot oh, well I'm not I'm not feeding on everyone in the palace without robbing the palace are you crazy I want everything take that I'll take that thank you Spiced wine? Now where is the Jarl? Where does she sleep? This place actually isn't too big. Relatively small. Does this guy not sleep? Do these two not go to bed? It's 3 in the morning. Granted, I was up until like 5 a.m. last night. No one in here. Relatively empty. Where's the princess? Oh, she's definitely behind the double doors. This is where all pretentious people hang out. It's always behind double doors. Ah, found her. Quiet, quiet. Jarl Elisif the Fair. We now have royal blood within us. That was underwhelming. I wish she would turn into a vampire. 
That would be cool if you could turn them. I don't think there's any other nobles really. Ah, uh, found ya. Full gear bear claw. This should put everyone on our side. Actually, I have to continue uh, disarming everyone. This guy has two swords. Not anymore. Now let's disarm everyone in the palace, because this will be one of the last places we go to when we aggro the whole town. I just have to double check that I still have Waba Jack. Okay, Whew, thank God. I thought I got rid of it for some reason. We're just demilitarizing this city's police. That's all. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her. No, I haven't. No, I didn't. Cheese, have a good one. By order of the yard, stop right there. Can't you look? Just overlook this, please. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so lenient. Thank you very much, officer. <laughs> just take his sword anyway. Well, this guy has a sword. By the order of the yard, stop right there. Can we not do this, please? Can let's just move on from it. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so lenient. Thank you, officer. Much appreciated. Take it anyway. <laughs> we could have leveled up speech much faster, guys, if we just used multiple guards when we did that. Brooke, one piece, have a good one. Have a good night. Take his sword, now he's disarmed. I'm gonna take that necklace as well. Be quick. She doesn't have any weapons. We're gonna have to watch out for her. She's gonna be using magic. Okay, it looks like all the guards here are disarmed. Let's make sure we disarm the Jarl. And then we should be good with clearing up the palace. Torig's Warhorn. I'm going to take it. It seems valuable. Ooh, the unusual gem. Ignored. Don't take the unusual gem. Fuck the unusual gem. All my homies hate it. Alright, palace guard disarmed. Now we have to disarm the guards in the streets. We disarm the Imperial Legion soldiers in the castle. We aggro everybody. And we create a giant mass. Uh... What's it called? I don't know. Wabajack confusion stuff. Wait, I know you. I gotta get that sword. How do I get that sword? There we go. Citizen, you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? It was a mistake. It was an honest mistake. I, I thought you were my friend. I was playing a prank. You're right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. Sword goes away. Sword goes right into my pocket. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your night, officer. Oh, man. Another dead body? I can't keep cleaning up all the dead bodies. Why did I have to kill so many people? I think those two guards might be some of the only guards wandering around town. 
Let's disarm the Legion. Let me get. He already has nothing. <laughs> already been disarmed. Ah, no problem, Brook. I was assuming. I don't abide fancy clothes. Also, don't abide holding onto your weapon very much. Oh, damn, I'm over encumbered. I'm gonna have to put my weapons somewhere where the guards won't get them. Because if I aggro them in here and they don't have a weapon, they're just gonna run and go pick it up. I know what to do. I will consolidate everyone's weapons in town into one location and see what happens when I aggro everyone with no weapons and they all run to the same location to get weapons. If it's arms or armor you need, see Bayrand in Castle Dower. Bloody good blacksmith, that one. I'm just barely over encumbered, so I'm gonna take... We're just gonna drop a sword. I have 15 swords. I'm gonna drop a couple swords. Then I'm going to go over to the Blue Palace will be one of the last places where I aggro people. So I'm going to take the swords. I thought that was someone following me up the hill. We're going to put them just right in the courtyard. Wait, I need the Orcish bow. That's my bow. Screw it. I'm going to put all the loot here as well. We'll put the armor here. We'll put everything here. Whatever these people want to grab, they can grab. It'll be a battle royale. It'll be a free-for-all. We'll just see what they pick up. We need, to be, we need to be able to break their brains. Hello, stupid little kids. That reminds me of the children that run around solitude. Now, where is my nicotine? Where is my vice? My addiction found it. Thank you very much. Don't judge me. It's just a vice, and I'm only harming myself. Ow. All right. Let's get back to uh, get back to the legion. The legion are going to have a ton of weapons. I need to get more. Now I'm kind of going to be addicted to building a giant weapons pile right outside the palace. <laughs> I need more. Can I invest in the castle dower? The winking skeevers got warm beds and. I get Ricky. Eh, you can keep the shield. Take his. Any more weapons around? Even if they're just like loose or in a, or like on a weapons rack or something, I want to take them. Um, I know Ben through like uh, TikTok and stuff like that. He's not armed. Ah, shit. Wait, I surrender. I should be able to talk him out of it, right? Oh my god, everyone in the barracks woke up at the exact same time. Hey. Hey. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, okay? Everybody calm down, alright? It was a mistake. It's not that serious. Stop looking at me weird. God, you guys act like I'm a vampire or something. Jeez. He hasn't been in bed for more than 10 seconds. We just immediately go and bite his neck. Imperial sword. Okay. And we take his weapons. This is actually... What the fuck? We broke his brain. You see what happens when you stay in the same town this long, guys? They just start to slowly deteriorate. He doesn't have any. Some of them I've already robbed. Why you? 
Everyone else go to bed. See, see him running in the back? He's looking for a weapon. Hurry up and arrest me. Stop right there. Look, man. Remember that children's uh, Benadryl you took not too long ago? Bet you're feeling pretty drowsy right now. Why don't you just, I don't know, fall asleep? All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so lenient. Shh. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Wait. I know you. Oh, do you? Do you? You think of me when you're dreaming. Nice, go to sleep, go to sleep. Relax. Yeah, relax. Give me all your fucking shit. Thank you. Yawn. Have we robbed Captain Aldous yet? We have. <laughs> Captain Aldous is unarmed as well. What's in here? Ooh, evidence locker. Definitely gotta take all this stuff. We can't let them have all this armor and weapons. Look at these weapons. That's too much. Far too dangerous in the hands of Imperials. Ah, we're over encumbered already. Wait, wouldn't it be funny though if I if I put them all in here and locked locked the door? All right, one one chest of armor. We might need to come back for that. Okay, our weapons pile outside the palace is about to start getting ridiculous. The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. I get on edge when I see a guard with a shield. It makes me feel like he might hit me with it. I find your and in my pocket. I'm going to cut it off. No, you're not. You're gonna question me and then you're gonna walk away as soon as I say the same line I've been giving to everybody. I'm like a comedian that only has one good joke. I just tell it to the guards on repeat and they let me go. Athar? Never should have come here. Well, that's not good. You can take his axe? Yeah, Miss Mara, they can. Mind yourself. My city friend, this here axe in full swing is a right terrible sight what axe what oh wait oh oh you mean the one that i'm holding right now you mean this axe <laughs> i didn't even know you could get this weapon this has to be the only version of it in the game right it's massive it's absolutely huge it's also too heavy for me three pounds overweight i'll drop some bracers Oh, shoot. You know what I just realized, guys? <laughs> I just I just realized I haven't been recording at all. Whoops. Whoopsies. That's an accident. Okay, now we're recording again. I'll have to figure out... Uh, I'll fill in the gap with some B-roll or, or some kind of explanation when I make the video. It'll be okay. I'll just I'll just teleport to all this shit being here. I might have to skip the part where we hey that armor you got rid of. I can have it, yeah. What the bracers that I dropped in the street? No, they're mine. Don't touch it. Well, what'd you go drop it at for? Got my hopes up for nothing. <laughs> I didn't even know that that was a dialogue in this game. <laughs> I'm so glad I started the recording there. <laughs> that was great timing. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> Dropping his axe right here in front of him. 16 daggers? I'll drop a woodcutter's axe. We'll see if anybody picks it up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we put the entire military right here. I like how it goes in a perfect circle. Like, right around where my character was standing. Oh, also? I need that sword. And that that armor he's wearing is really cool. How do you get that armor? I want it. Can I give him better armor? Maybe I should have allowed him to take the armor that I dropped.
Hey, 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 you're armed. No weapons in my street. Not in my town. Good on ya, good on ya. Nothing. No one here. Once again, the guards are performing their virtual armor, their uh, virtual archery training to perfection. They're just wearing VR helmets. They're in the metaverse. Proud Spire Manor. Now there's a fine home. We cleared that place out. <sighs> now we have to go to the inn. There's quite a few people in the inn who might be armed. Let's go disarm them. And then we should be good to try and aggro everyone possible. Didn't think I'd be seeing you again so soon. I'm not here to make friendship with you. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. Doesn't look like there's too many people in here. Now, before I aggro everybody, I am going to have to cure my vampirism because my health is going to be pretty low. I are not cure it, but feed. Like, what is my health right now? Oh, it's at 140. That's actually not too bad. All right, let's do it. Let's aggro everybody in town. Our Wabajack at the ready. Almost the entire populace has been disarmed. We have the entire armory right at the palace, and... Someone do something! Oh, whoa, 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 you have a dagger? I didn't know you had a dagger. I'm loading my quick save and taking that back. It is illegal in my new version of Solitude. It is illegal for anyone to be armed. Give me that. And now we go Wabajack. If you need a good room. Now we go the music down just a tad. The action music is a little bit loud and it'll be hard to edit over. I think I can oblige. Someone do something! Oh, you know what? I forgot that the uh, Sam guy, the guy who wants you to drink, he's really good at, uh, he's, he's really good at, what's it called? Summoning Daedra. Oh, and magic. Nostra, you finally get a chance to fight back at me. I actually have to heal. This Sam guy is difficult. Would you, will you, can I just kill Sam first? Sam, Sam, you're going to have to die for this to work. You're wasting my charges, Sam. Look how powerful this guy is. All right, we're going to have to load that quick save one more time. Sam is too powerful. He's going to ruin the whole thing. So we're going to take out Sam before we actually start this process. Also, I realized I missed a couple of people who appear to be armed. They appear to be breaking the rule. You're out of line, Corpolis. Why you're hiding like that? Don't keep your mouth closed, girl. Hey, I am an honest worker. Don't come near me. I don't want to get hurt again. You don't want to get hurt? Uh, he's... Dude, what happened to your eyes? Is that from all the arrows? What the fuck was that? Okay, I'm out. I'm out of here. I'm out. That was scary. All right, let's take out this Sam guy. We should be able to get some good damage on him. Oh, he is essential. You're right. You're right. He's essential. We're going to have to aggro everyone in here. I actually think he might ignore all the fighting. Let's see. What do you think? Good is dead. Someone do something. Leave me alone. 
Wait, who are you? Who is she fighting? Why are you fighting Belrind? And what did he go grab? Oh, Belrind went for the woodcutter's axe. Okay, Gollum A is pretty powerful. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, the guard's here. What do you want? Oh, he just came to observe. He doesn't actually want to fight. Belrind, you're not actually supposed to be on my team right now, but I'm glad that Belrind found the only weapon in town. <laughs> Gollum A versus Belrind. The fight of the century. And I may still show mercy. Well, well, Belrind, you know the rules. Oh, I can't pickpocket him. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, Noster. I know it's not an arrow, but... You should put that weapon away. You should probably put that away before you knock something over. Don't tell me you have to put my weapon away, okay? I, there are bigger things at stake here. Oh, 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 let me through. Angeline! <laughs> Angeline's boxing. This is actually going to be pretty hard. These are some narrow buildings. Gah, I'm stuck. They're all just beating me to death. <laughs> Everyone at one time, how do we get out of this? I can't use the Wabajack quite yet. No, I need to get through so I can aggro the store owner. Where the fuck did you get that sword, Angeline? She's the only one armed. Okay, this isn't going to work. I have to get into the uh, Imperial headquarters. Oh my god, Angeline executed me. <laughs> The old woman saves the day. I cannot shout, Miss Mara. We didn't uh, get that far. I know I should have taken that. Oh, where are you guys getting all these weapons? I have to find, I have to get rid of more weapons. They keep finding them. I think they're getting them all from Angeline's place. They must be getting weapons from Angeline's store. So let's get into her store real quick. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have that's where she got the that's where she got the sword. She unlocked the case and pulled out the sword. Or someone unlocked the case. Her key doesn't open that. Do you sell lockpicks, ma'am, by any chance? Said you got here. Take a look. Ah, she does sell lockpicks. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Oh, the little, the little, close enough. oh, really, Cade? What are you going to do, up. tag me? Oh, you bet your papa could beat me up? Shut up. That's close God. Ah, Cade. I'm warning you. Back off. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Prometheus, uh, oh, it's 2 a.m. your time zone? Get some sleep. Take a look. But well, thank you for stopping by. It was good to see you. It's always good to see people when it's uh, their first time able to make the stream. Now she has eight lockpicks. You holding out on me, Sema? Okay, I have to get some place where they can't see me, and... Oh, perfect. Yeah, they can't see me behind this little corner. Because every time I break a lockpick, it makes... Uh, if they catch me... God damn it.
Why is this one giving me such a hard time? Yes. I bet my papa could beat you up. Why would you say that? Okay, do you not remember the last time what happened when we played tag? You think your papa would get a kick out of it knowing that you like to tag dead bodies? Huh? Perfect. Do you have any more weapons in here? What else you got, Sema? Huh? No. Okay, Sema has been disarmed. I don't think that there's any weapons up here at the blacksmith, but let's just double check. Actually, he's armed. Yeah, give me that mace. And your gold. I'm taking your gold. Perfect hiding spot. Oh, am I really stuck here? I'm stuck? You can't jump up on this table and get out? The fast travel to the Blue Palace, which actually is convenient because I can drop- Whoa, hey, what are you doing out here? This is my collection. You're not invited. I like how he hasn't checked at all to see whether or not he's armed. Wait, I know you. No, you don't. The only mistake was you showing your face. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. I'm just a collector. I'm an enthusiastic merchant who likes to collect other people's property. Oh, I can't get out of this? I actually got caught. I've been made. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying. Then you're free to go. Didn't actually teleport me. I've never done that before. I've never done that before. Huh. Oh, you know what? We have to disarm the college as well. I doubt any of these nerds are armed. Well, I guess this guy is. He does have a sword. Think about the all the people in solitude. Actually, there are a ton of people in solitude. All buildings combined? Oh, no, you don't. And an even funnier thing is it's more illegal to steal from the regular people than it is to steal from the guards. If you get caught stealing from the guards with a high speech level, I mean, all you have to do is just tell the guard to look the other way. You get away with it. You steal from a regular civilian? Nope. It's go time. They're throwing hands. They are ready to fight. Let's make sure the other students aren't armed. The Dean of Loot, she's got to be armed. I bet she's packing heat. Graduate and enroll with the Legion. My Dean of Loot is not armed. Ilda, you're armed? Give me that dagger. Give me your weapon. Turn it in. Turn it in, folks. Come on. We've seen too much violence in solitude these days. Even the chef is armed. What does the chef need a knife for? Hmm? Now, I have to plan out a good route in order to aggro everybody. Oh, one Oblivion Guard for sure. One Oblivion Guard wins that fight all day, every day. No competition. Aid. Cade. I hope Cade comes by the Blue Palace to witness the massacre that's going to occur. 
Now I think we should be okay. Other than the one woodcutter's axe that's in the winking skeever, I think we've disarmed almost everything. Bellrin's over there getting wasted. To the days come and gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. She could use that loot as a weapon, possibly. We're gonna have to keep an eye out for her. Lisette could be dangerous. Alright, now back to just this ridiculous pile. This is insanity. cave is down to the southwest but it ain't fit for exploring there are stories Vamp all right let's take a look at the city from above now i think the best route is to just go the winking skeever kind of scares me this section is tough because the corridors are so tight so i think what i'm going to do is go bits and pieces angelines We'll run in here to Radiant Raymond, and then we'll tag the Winking Skeever. We'll come out of the Winking Skeever, attack the Fletcher. Uh, the Fletcher should actually be a bit early, and we, there's probably more weapons we have to take from him. So we could go Blacksmith, Fletcher, Bits and Pieces, Angeline, hit here, punch the innkeeper, run back around. Maybe we can lose, we could lose him in here real quick. Tag the guards. When we get in here, there should be an exit right up at this door. And when we exit out to this door, that's when we can make our final run to try and sneak into the college, punch someone at the college, Move down. We're going to have to get people at the palace as well. We're going to have to get them in the palace ag road. So what I'm going to have to regain my ability to sprint. So here's what I'm going to do. Save my game here just in case the weapons despawn. We can't have the weapons despawn. But I need to find someone that's asleep and I need to feed on them. Oh wait, I do have my, sp I have my sprint. Never mind. We're good to go. I didn't realize I had sprint. The winking skeever's got warm beds and cold mead. You look like it doesn't refill though. Heard they're reforming it. So I am I am gonna feed on someone. Just so we can get our uh arms or armor you, you do stop following me. Good blacksmith that one. Alright, go back to the Yarl, feed real quick. Would you go to bed, please? I'll watch you sleep. This isn't weird. No, not strange at all. Good night, fair lady. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Now we'll wait till morning. I feel like everyone in Skyrim rarely sleeps. They get no rest. I mostly deal with petty thievery and okay, so my stamina will still not refill in the sunlight, no matter what. Uh, Tekka, we became a vampire when we glitched through the gate inside the chapel that takes you into Patema's cavern. This is going to be hard regardless. It's going to be nearly impossible no matter what. But I have a lot of magicka. I have restoration that we can use. Go 
will cast your fancy magic if they can only easy. punch me it's gonna take them a while to get me killed either way I like our odds here okay and my stats are lowered my stats are lowered in the sun that does suck but it's not the end of the world okay let's start here ready first official run at destroying the city of solitude begin <laughs> what? <laughs> Baron didn't want to fight me yet. He was like, no, you're my lead investor. I can't possibly fight you. Let's get the Fletcher. The Imperial Legion is already on us. Oh, Jesus, that was quick. You guys answer the call fast. He's looking for a weapon. Let me through, let me through. Where did you get a bow? Oh, damn it, he found a bow in here. I knew it. Take, oh, yep, there were a couple bows. Damn, some of them found bows in here. Okay, we're gonna go back and retry. We have to clear out the Fletcher first. <clears throat> I don't want to do it at night because they'll all be asleep. Everyone will be asleep. I think it'll be way harder to aggro everybody. There will be less guards in the street. Plus, yeah, that's not as much of a challenge. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Oh, a dagger. Where did that guard pull the bow from? Hey, hands off. Shut up. Never should have come here. That guard got here really fast. Oh, there's a weapon in here. There's a weapon in here. What do you Nope, give me that dagger. I'm taking it. <laughs> You're not getting that dagger on my watch, officer. Damn it, I forgot to take his bow. Who has a sword? We just took out a sword. And where is he getting? He's pulling out. He's pulling something out of somewhere. Where did you get the bow? He just materialized it out of thin air. All right, we're going to have to get moving. All right, all right. He's only got a dagger. Bring it on, Bayrand. All right, we can lose the guards here very briefly. But as soon as we hit a loading screen, they're going to attack us like crazy. This is going to be hard. This is going to be really hard. Mickey, did you bring did you bring the squad through again? I'm going to have to explain to everybody what the hell we're doing here. <laughs> oh, shit. So what I did was I pickpocketed every weapon and stole every weapon in the entire city. And I'm trying to aggro everybody to the exact same spot so I can wabajack them all at the same time. Some of them are still armed. Some of them have found weapons. But it is pretty entertaining to watch these NPCs look for weapons. Noster, not an arrow. My fist instead this time. Okay, bits and pieces. We might just have to not do bits and pieces. Let's get another save here, though. We'll just take this as a checkpoint. But, uh, welcome, everybody. I hope Shenmue went well. Oh, shit. Who got the Warhammer? Someone had a Warhammer. There's a Dwarven war. There's a Dwarven Warhammer in here I missed. God damn it. We're gonna we're gonna have to redo this. I have to take the dwarven warhammer. Where are they getting it? Where the fuck did they get a dwarven warhammer? Okay, so Fletcher, we have to take the weapons that he has real quick. We'll take. He's got an iron dagger on the shelf. There's another dagger in here. Fantastic. Right here. I think he is still armed. Where the hell did they get the... Where did that come from? The Dwarven Warhammer? Because that's going to kill me in a couple of hits if they get a hold of that one. We've already, we've already stolen everything from this guy. Taking his bow. Ah! Neither of these neither of these are the bows though that that guy had. Also, that door, uh Daedric crossbow looks sick. That might be the coolest thing I've ever seen in Skyrim. Hello and welcome, my friend. Uh, you have a dagger down here, don't you? And you're also armed with one. Not in my city. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. Thank you, chair, for distracting him. So this guy's he he keeps running over right here to this exact table and grabbing a bow. So I think we might actually start here with the aggro. We're going to aggro him first, run out, we'll punch the blacksmith. We'll head down, we'll do bits and pieces, then we'll do Angeline's, then we'll do the inn. Once we get out of the inn, then phase two commences. When phase two commences, we have to move into the castle dower, get which whatever Imperial Legion soldiers that we can, all the guys that are on break, we disarmed all of them. Then well, I'll ignore the chapel. I spent enough time in that goddamn chapel. After that, we'll move to the Bard's College. We'll punch those cowards in the face for their ridiculous tuition prices. And then we move over to the Blue Palace. That's where I'm going to have to save my game because I need to aggro the Blue Palace before... And let me show you guys sort of how we've set this up. I have to fast travel over to Blue Palace real quick so I can show you this. When I have the entire city aggroed, I have to get over to the Blue Palace and get into the Blue Palace and punch the Jarl before the crowd that's chasing me reaches this pile of weapons. These are all of the weapons in the entire city that I know of, that I have been able to confiscate, unless there's some bootlegging going on that I'm not aware of. There better not be bootlegging in my town. But what I want to do is get every single NPC in the city at the exact same time fighting over these weapons in the exact same location. It has to break the game. It, it, it has to. I don't see a scenario where that doesn't completely fucking break their brains. I only get one full charge of Wabajack. I don't have filled soul gems. The bandits under the city? Uh, Kevor, are you talking about the, uh, the vampires? Because we've already encountered the vampires. We are one. And that was a doozy in its own. That was a, that was a really painful stream because we had to use the uh, basket slash plate glitch to get through the door. There's been a lot of plate glitching on this stream, this series of streams. It's going to be fun to edit. It'll be fun to put together for a video. So, okay. Fletcher. Let's go through let's go through the game plan just one more time so we're all on the same page here. Fletcher, blacksmith. Bits and pieces, Angeline in, loop around. Guards out here, they'll all be aggroed, all disarmed. These guys are training archery in VR. I've made that joke nine times. They're in the metaverse. Made that joke already like three times. We'll hit here, Imperial Legion. We'll hit the stairs and come out the top exit. Top exit loops around and there's a great, oh, this is a perfect opportunity for us to escape. Here's the plan. After we leave the Imperial Legion and we come out this top exit, we're going to come down here. There's a little nest area right here we can hide. We're not going to hide necessarily. We're just going to use this to sort of, ah, is that going to completely lose my aggro on them? It might. It might lose my aggro, so we'll have to save somewhere in between just to test it out. But when I aggro the college, and when I need to aggro the blue palace without everybody reaching the giant weapons pile of godliness, somewhere in that area, if I hit this spot and run over to the palace as fast as possible, can we keep the aggro on them without them teleporting into the palace and swarming us and killing us and without touching the weapons pile? That's all going to have to be figured out as this goes along. But right now, that's the entire plan. That's how we're going to go with it. Ready? All right. Take number one. Also, there's like nine dead bodies in that one stall in the middle, <laughs> along with the dead pile out there. <laughs> they didn't make it. I really wish I didn't kill all those people, because it would have been fun to include them in this project. May this project work in their memory. May they enjoy it while they watch from space. Here we go. Begin. Take a good look I'm all amped up. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Wait. Not, let me Wait. Know. Wait. Wait. I didn't go to bits and pieces and look for the Dwarven Warhammer. The Dwarven Warhammer has to be cleared out. Where is it? Hello, I'm it's Kisley. it's somewhere in here. Just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. 
wooden sword. It'd be funny if someone grabbed the wooden sword. Where is it? I know you're keeping contraband somewhere in this place. Not in my city. God damn it. Get out of my way, Sema. Also, I am a leading investor in this business. Oh, oh, a dagger. Oh, -ho. really? I invest in your store and you hold out weapons on me? Okay. Hmm. Makes sense. Oh, oh, uh, multiple daggers. You got a modern day armory in here, Sema. She's got, she's like, uh, it's like in Fallout New Vegas. She's getting automatic weapons into the casinos. She's getting two-handed rifles. Uh, she's got the uh, the holdout weapons. Not in there. Damn, they must be getting it from someplace else. But where? It's got to be in one of the few stores that I checked out. Is it in? Is it possible that it's in Angeline's? You don't need a dagger to open letters. This is why we've downgraded the people of Solitude to, yeah, just butter knives. What you got in here? Huh? Angeline, is it you? Are you the narc? Are you the inside agent that's ruining this entire operation? Where is it? Where's the damn weapon? Daggers. They have a lot of reason to be. My parents are proud of me? They're about to be incredibly disappointed here shortly. Speaking of, my mom just asked me to, uh, uh she asked me for uh, my YouTube channel because she wanted to watch my videos. <laughs> and I, I, I have a difficult time explaining to my mother what Skyrim is, why it's such like a, like a big popular title, how Skyrim works, but also explaining to her that I'm not a monster. I'm not an evil person. Just in Skyrim, I'm evil. Mom, don't watch this part. Close your eyes, mother. All right. Well, we'll have to figure out the mystery of the missing dwarven warhammer another time, because here we go. Heat number one. I'm in here, left hook. Help me! Help! Here we go. Uh. Nope, oh, oh nope, I'm taking that bow. You're not getting it. See, he's, oh, see, he stands right there. He somehow gets, where does he get that bow? Is there a merchant's chest underneath? I think there's a merchant's chest underneath the pillar. Oh, you bastards! They're taking weapons out of the merchant's chest. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to take that. You sons of bitches. They're cheating. They're cheating. Glass bow. I... Uh. They're taking everything from his inventory. Okay. How do I avoid them? How do I avoid them getting into the merchant's chest? I have to just be incredibly fast. But even the merchants themselves are going to arm themselves. So, how much gold do I have? 2470. Hello and welcome. Bows and arrows for the mighty hunts. Oh my god, we're we're doing we're doing a weapons buyback program. <laughs> the solitude buyback program. Yeah, you can replace all these weapons with uh, potions, if you don't mind. I don't have nearly enough gold, though. There's going to be one bow in that. Or wait, did I just sell him? No, I'm looking at his inventory. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Why, you 
little filcher. By the order of the Yarl. Stop right there. Jesus. Get out of here. All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Thank you for understanding. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I know what I can do. Damn, never mind. I can't just take the gold that I sold to him. Well, I'm taking this one. He has one bow. There's one bow in that, in that chest. But all the other merchants, or at least, at least the bits and pieces merchant. Hold on one sec. I want to be able to legitly disarm the city. And I think that there's pretty good money to be made at Angeline's. Because I can I can sell stolen goods. And I really don't think that we're going to need a ridiculous... I've already, I've already robbed the place. Damn it, I've robbed everything from so many people. Ah, welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? Can I take all this? Need oh, I can. For a potion? You're certainly in the right place. All I have to do is just crouch and she won't be able to see me. Get up, get up. It's good to see. Take a look. Okay, we have enough to get rid of the last weapon that's at this other guy's store. I have to hurry up though. I have to I have to do this uh before it's already 4 p.m. in game. Damn, I got to hurry up. I can't get to the next day where their inventories will refresh. So it's now or never. We're running we're running short on time. Hello, and what are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. All right, he's disarmed. Perhaps I'll be no more. more of you. There is also what's in these cases. Damn, okay, we're taking them. Actually, no one will be able to use the bolts. No one can use the crossbows. Crossbow bolts aren't in inventory yet. I haven't started the Dawn Guard DLC, so crossbows are ineffective. Just have to take that longbow. You didn't see anything. Mind your own business. Now, I'm short on money. We just have to go check the bits and pieces inventory and make sure that she's short on weapons. Because they're certainly getting it from her chest. Or at, le at least I just have to check her chest to see where it's at. And then we should be good to make this run. Oh, she has a lot of stuff I can steal as well. Nice. Thank you for being such an effective... You said you got... Just before the execution... Right here. A lovely first sight. Yep. Okay, they're getting the weapons from right in those two chests. Yes? Some may call this junk. Me? I call Dwarven Warhammer. Place. Dwarven Warhammer. We found it. 400 gold for it. God dang. I do have enough to get rid of the Dwarven Warhammer. Fishing rod. That was all my money, though. But all else she has is a dagger... A battle axe and a steel sword. Come back to bits and so we should we should be able to rob her and sell to her. That should be enough. That should do it. Hmm? Um, Bones, what we're doing right now is disarming the population of Solitude in order to aggro the entire population of Solitude for science. For science, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Ah, I'm 20 gold short. Come on. How much more gold do I need? I need 19 gold. Make sure, to recommend us to your associates. sure, no problem. Will do. There we go. That should be more than enough. Take a look. 
Done. Done. Population disarmed. Good day. There should be no weapons left in town. Uh, Brooke, this is, I think, our fifth or sixth stream without leaving Solitude. It's been long, and when we did the Whiterun video, uh, when we did the same challenge in Whiterun, that one was only three streams and, like, seven hours of footage. This one is turning into about 12 hours of footage, and there's a lot there. So this video is going to be a pain in the ass to make. I'm actually really scared to start making it because, you know, the Whiterun video, as popular as it was, it quite literally started, basically, the momentum on my YouTube channel. Um, th that one took a lot of rewrites and pain. Screw it. I'm dropping my bow here. No, no, I'll keep my bow. All right. Finally, after all that work, the entire city has been disarmed. <laughs> There's the entire city of Solitude's armory. Now, here we go. And the Imperial Bracers that apparently are very sought after. Ready? Our challenge begins. Please tell me that there are no goddamn weapons in the chest. Bones, you'll see. You'll see. This is a scientific experiment on mind control to see how well we can control the minds of the NPCs in town. Essentially, what we want them all to do is all fight over the weapons in the giant pile at the end here, because their NPC pathing will make them do so. Come on. Guards are coming. There they are. They're all coming. All unarmed. That's good to see. Now let's go bits and pieces. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to turn around and see that many of them. They're ready to box. Excuse me, guys. You gotta let me through here. You gotta let me through. Yes. Yes, we made it. He took the fishing rod. Someone actually did take the fishing rod out of the chest. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe we figured it out. All right, Angeline, join the fight. I swear to God, if Angeline sells like a rifle or something, I'll be so upset. Kids, this is what adult tag looks like. Don't you want to play? Is he armed? He took out a dagger. The only one armed in town is Cade. Put that weapon away, kid. I didn't even know kids could have weapons. All right, Noster, join the fight. Oh, Noster just wants to leave. Where did the rest of the guards go? I think the rest of the guards left. Can't hide from me. There's a lot of noise going on in here. Janawan looks like he has a dagger. That's against the law. I'm staying out of this. Belrand, thank you for fighting on my behalf. Everyone ganged up on Belrand, poor guy. <laughs> Ultimate boxing champions. Oh, where the hell did he find a dagger? At least this is the only guy who's coming after me. I'm going to have to let them kill Belrand. It's taken him a while, though. Oh, it's... Is it Bayrend or Belrend? They're not even attacking me at this point. This guy is a beast. He won't go down. 
Oh no. He did go down. Never mind. Where are all the guards? Report success to Ildi. Success of what? Belrind is already back to full health. I'm just going to kill Belrind. Let's just get him out of this fight. He's annoying me. He's ruining the challenge. Guards, I'm helping you. Stop healing yourself. My survivability is so good indoors. But as soon as I go outside... He's invincible. They can't do enough damage to him to actually take out Belrind, but he's taking on too much aggro. God, get me out of here. Belrind! All right, Belrind. I've had enough of your bullshit. I can't even command kill him. Die! I know you're not essential, Belrind. Oh, now he's at full health. God damn it. I have to get rid of Belrind somehow. Ah, I don't want to keep restarting this. I have to get rid of Belrind. He just, he throws a huge wrench into the plans. He does nothing but just muck up the whole thing. Didn't think I'd be seeing you again. If you change your mind, seek me out here. I still have my bow? I do. The blade can be as lethal as the spell, but deadlier still is the one who wields both. He doesn't seem to mind. He's just enjoying his ale. You're pushing your luck. Look at him. He's he's chugging. What do you think you're doing? We drink to our youth, to the days come and go. Be careful. The age of aggression is just about done. And no one cares about Belrind. She just continues on singing. All right, now we can do this. Belrind is dead. Now we can continue. Now the official challenge, or the official finale to this challenge, can actually begin. Healing equipped. Fist in one hand. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I forgot the courier has to give me my. Uh... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. I've got a letter. Looks like that's it. Yeah, Belrin's inheritance. I'm not interested in it. I don't even, you know what? I don't even want to read this damn letter, Belrind. Get out of my inventory. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Lock in, everyone. All obstacles have been cleared. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, nice soup, nerd. Move outside. Imperial Legion is on the way. You're mine. Belrend aggroed. Jump. Your end draws near. Guards, I know you can't attack me. What did he arm himself with? What did you arm yourself with? Nothing. Good. Perfect. Where's he going? He's looking for a weapon. Do you think the guards... Oh, he got an axe. They're going they're going into this guy's inventory. They're searching the chest. They're searching the merchant's chest. You've already lost. Now someone's going to come in here and get the fishing rod. I'm okay with that. Excuse me. Um ma'am. Ma'am, I I need your attention for something important. If if you could Oh, she took the fishing rod. Okay, we're good. She's aggroed. We didn't even have to hit her. Fishing rod does some damage, but the guards look like they're still in here. He's running to a merchant's chest. What's he looking for? He's searching this merchant's chest. What did they have? Oh, a dagger? Okay, they only had a dagger. They're all just going nuts to try and find the merchant's weapons. 
Are the guards still in here? What? The door's locked. Wait, they're locked inside. Hold on. I have to get these people out. Damn it. Yes. Yeah, they're all locked in here. They've just broken. They won't fight anymore. They're standing there. It's Attack of the Clones. Freeze! I command thee... To, hey! I command thee... To s stop. <laughs> stop what you are doing. I control your minds. Yes! <laughs> All right. Hey, relax with the stick. Jeez. Now, can we leave now? She locks him in. She locks all of the guards in. She's helping me. Why are you helping me, Sema? They're all just stuck in there. We can't get them out. We're gonna. I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart. We're not gonna aggro Sema. I know we disarmed her store, but we just can't aggro her if she keeps locking people in. Look how quick the guards answer the call. It's like an episode of Cops. They're just right there. They're on the scene. Somehow this guard's taken a lot of health damage. Where did he get hurt? You're mine. Come on, everyone. You're no match for me. Join the party. I'm going to get moving before they start searching the merchant's chest. Let's just skip right to the inn. Belrind is dead. Jawanan has a dagger. Sam doesn't want any of this. They're running upstairs. They're looking for weapons upstairs. I don't know if they're going to aggro and follow us out because they were busy looking for weapons. Okay, this is a pretty good crowd. This is about as big as the white run crowd we had. Wait, hold on. Hey, Noster, get back here. No, 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 no. You're a part of this fight too, guy. There you go. Get in here. Someone help. How, how do we count all these people? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. Up uh, about fifteen. I, I think is the count that I got. I could be wrong though. Okay, now we have to move up. Let's make sure we keep them all funneled. Hey, don't be running over there looking for weapons now. Don't be looking for swords. <laughs> they're go. They're all fighting over the daggers. Who's gonna get it first? All right, fine. Collect your damn daggers, idiots. Hurry up. They're all huddled around the exact same merchant stall. <laughs> there's not that many daggers in there. I know there's only one, maybe two. Come on now. Follow me into the castle. Uh oh, someone's got a sword. We missed, we missed one Imperial soldier that has a sword. We can't let him get to the front of the group. Stop. Everyone freeze. Freeze. Stop. I command thee. I am in charge of this town. I have invested in several businesses. Back up. You don't know what I've done for this city. I stopped the vampire menace underground. Come on. Single file line. Single file line, everyone. Damn, a few of them are armed. I missed a few swords in here. <laughs> the homeless guy in bag. They're all just chirping from the back of the line. Ooh, ooh. Come on, everyone. You're all doing great. You're all doing fantastic. Look at it go. Look at them. It's an army. <clears throat> Some of them in back, their pathing is just breaking. Oh, where did you get a bow? You son of a... Contraband! Contraband! What did I tell all of you about contraband? This is what happens when one person ruins the fun and does quite a bit of damage. 
I should avoid those arrows. <laughs> this guard's over here like, holy shit, what did I miss? Hold on, I'm coming, guys. <laughs> yeah, you missed a whole lot today, man. Everyone follow. Oh, they're running back. Wait, they're digging through her dead body. Does she have a dagger? Oh my god, she had a dagger. They're, they're robbing the dead now. They're so desperate for weapons. Okay, come on, everybody. Find your best dagger. We're going to the college. Never should have come here. Oh, um, yeah. N I never. This is the most entertaining sequence that the Bard's College has ever seen in Skyrim history. Oh, shit. They're looking for something. Are there really more weapons in the school? Yeah, there's something in there. They're digging. More people are armed. Hey, get back here. Yeah, this is for all the shitty tuition prices you guys charged me earlier. 90 speech cost 150,000 gold. Ridiculous. Now, the rest of the students should be up here. Watch your language. Doesn't look like there's anybody up here. Shit, how am I getting through this door? Excuse me. Just let me through real quick. All right, everybody. We've journeyed to the college. I need everyone in a single file line to be respectful. Put the sword away. Hey, 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 no one else in your class has a sword. You can't bring a weapon unless you can share with everyone. Those are the rules. Oh, this prick with the sword is at the front of the line. I got to get him in back. It looks like there's less people. Maybe some of them didn't come in here. Oh, shit. Now, guys, I can only sign one autograph at a time. I need you to back it up. Jesus, I feel like Toby Maguire trying to drive his car out of a parking garage. I don't know if I can get through. <laughs> Get out of my kind, my kind. Excuse me, guys. Let me just crowd surf real quick through everyone. I know everyone here wants a piece of this action. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm dying. Oh, God. I can't get through. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's not something you see every day. Oh, no, 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 don't fight back. I gotta get through this crowd. I can do this. I can fight. I can fight their fists and get through. Where's my bucket when I need it? Come on, come on, come on. We almost got this. Oh my god, I got executed. That's the guy with the sword. He's ruining it. Is there an is there an alternate exit? You can't beat me! Hold on, what I could do is go back into the college. Leave the college and see if the alignment of people changes. Uh, Jesus. Either side of the door I go through, I'm screwed. Okay, I have some leeway in here. Let's check the local map. Solitude, sol- Yes, there is! There's an alternate exit! Holy shit! The basement! Who- who called the- who called that the basement? You're- I love you! I love you so much! Oh, go, 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 go! Okay, we can do this. We can do this. But all of the weapons are up here. They're going to lock onto the weapons. We have to get into the palace quick and punch someone. Somebody help. You're as good as dead. What you doing? I don't think we had to. They're already out. Someone's being attacked. Give up. Screw it. We're just going to watch them now. <laughs> They're all going for weapons now. Oh shit, everyone's armed. <laughs> Some of them aren't actually going for the weapons. They haven't found the pile yet. Few of them have. They're starting to arm themselves. Are you 
Oh, he got the executioner's axe. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I need to get to the see the, the count. God damn, even the professor grabs a sword. Come on, guys, there's enough weapons for everybody, okay? You don't need me. This is amazing. Okay. So. I'm gonna take the loading screen right after we get out of the college and just sprint. I'm gonna sprint right to the palace. The guards are going to aggro right away, and then I'm going to exit again. We're going to see if it's possible. <clears throat> Excuse me? Oh god, wait, why did, why did this get difficult? Actually, change of plan. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go with the hiding spot that I told you guys about before. We're going to hit the hiding spot. Doesn't look like any of them ran back to the palace. That's a good sign. So they haven't gotten close enough to lock onto the weapons pile and try to grab from it. Still have all of our rabid fans. Oh, look, even more have showed up. They must have been upset. They're like, hey, we didn't hear about this concert. Come on, everyone. Single file, single file. Man, for a silent protagonist, he really has pisses up, pissed off quite a, quite a lot of people. <laughs> no, those were the two guys they had their VR headsets on. They were in their uh, metaverse hangout session. Look at them, they fill like the whole wall. Good job, everyone. Okay, who's got the arrows? All the way down on the ground he's shooting at me. Ass! Hey! Everyone else is playing by the rules. Would you? Enough with the arrows. Everyone else knows how to play by the rules. All right, we've got everyone here. We're going to go down to our little hiding spot. Jump here real quick. And now we're going to try and hit the college or the palace. Doesn't it doesn't it looks like they're all still aggroed. This guy, he's taking the whole fight by himself. Come on, come on. Now, the only problem is, am I going to lose all of their aggro? Okay, the Jarl should be in bed. We have to go punch the Jarl. Get out of my way. Where's the Jarl? Yes, Jarl has been punched. And the mage, and Falk, and this guy. Go, 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 go. Guards are start. They're starting to get here from the outside. Where's everyone else? Th these people, they're all gonna arm at the pile, and that's okay. Oh no, no, no! He's got a woodcutter's axe. Ah, we lost him. We lost their aggro. Hey, watch what you're doing. Ah, damn it. Blue Palace, Blue Palace. Ah, shit. And my last autosave is at the exact beginning of the challenge. My last autosave is when we started. I forgot to get a quick save when we left the college, when we came out of the basement. Just see if we can. Where did he teleport it and dodge me? These people are still honest. They're all shooting though. They grabbed. They grabbed weapons from the pile. Even courier gets punched. No, they all. They're all returning to their schedules. They all just decided to forget about it. They were all hot and bothered, and they were all talking a lot of crap. And they just decided to forget. They're like, where did all these dead bodies? Wait a minute, hold on. 
They all haven't gotten inside yet. We can still aggro them all. We can still aggro everybody. A few of them might be armed, but they're still gonna be aggroed. Get over here. Punching you, Gizly. What does it look like? They're still they're still trying to get into a chest over here. Oh yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is just fantastic. Now I'm gonna create a save here. Where the hell did you get that? Hey, whoa, watch the spinning. So much contraband, so much missed contraband. Everyone in Solitude. Did you not realize how large the population of Solitude was? Okay, I'm gonna save my game here. And then just to see sort of what happens, I am gonna cheat, but this is just for science purposes. What? Okay, hold on. So going into free camera must unequip my weapons. So screw it, we're just gonna try and stay alive. Come on everyone, get a weapon. Get in line. Wabajack! Wabajack! <laughs> They're fighting each other. They're fighting each other now. They're fighting a mud crab. Why is there a mud crab on the ground? There's a damn Dramora! What's... what's happening? <laughs> Alright, if you haven't picked a side now, I'm just gonna wabajack ya. Also, apologies. I think I still had god mode on. We'll just ignore that. We'll edit... we'll edit that out. <laughs> I like having the Dramora on my side. He's very good at this killing people thing. Alright. So whatever you say, arrow shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you like that, Gizly? Oh, no, I gotta live. I gotta live. Go, move. Run. Where are you going? No one runs from the Wabajack. Holy shit, they're all- they- a lot of them stayed up there. They're still fighting. Okay, never mind, never mind. They're coming. Run, rabbit! Run! Go free! Get out of here! No! No! Wait, I know you. Oh yeah, it's like after all of that shit. <laughs> after all of that shit, the guard decides to go, Wait! I know this guy! I'm totally familiar with him! I absolutely know this guy. TGM and TCL, thank you. Good call. Okay, so now let's switch it up. Let's get them back here. Ah, uh, I put my weapons away. I, w I can actually surrender. So at that point, after after getting the entire town... Hold on, uh. I have the entire town pissed off at me. Everyone at the exact same time wants to kill me. Everyone wants me dead. And I can just do this. Okay, I do have to go to jail. I can't actually talk my way out of it. I can't talk my way out of it, but I can just stop everything right now. And everyone just walks away. That easy. Hey guys, hey, come on, I'm just kidding, right? 
Just go your own way, just walk away, leave the weapons here, and it's all fine. It's all fine. Or, let's see how they actually act. I want to see sort of what weapons people are going for. So we'll, I think I still have TGM on, yeah. So we'll go TGM, and we'll TCL. And then we'll come up here. But TCL also TCLs all of them. You think you stand a chance? You can see him running over here, reaching for weapons. Oh, she got the executioner's axe. <laughs> Going to enjoy killing you. It's so funny how. They sort of, the way Skyrim NPCs work, they, get just, they just kind of get in line and watch. They're all equally pissed. And they all want to kill me. But look, the way they rotate, they like rotate and change positions. Oh, I'm getting stopped by the Legget. Ooh. I'd rather die than go to prison. <laughs> they just immediately return back. But look, some of them, some of them have already quit. They just decided to walk away. Well, you know what? Everybody who has watched these streams, thank you for coming along on this journey <laughs> as we have destroyed the minds and the will of the Solitude citizens. But you know what we did do? We helped the citizens of Solitude put aside their political differences that they may have, and we helped them find one common foe. We helped them come together to destroy one common enemy. A random chef slash vampire who, ow. Oh, my knee! Ow, oh, my abdomen! <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you. And then I bent the will of an entire population of people to my bidding. But I think that's a satisfying conclusion to our adventure here in Solitude. Uh, I don't think I'm going to end the stream. Um... We'll probably do something else just to sort of hang out for a little bit. But uh, I think this ends the 12 hours of recording that we've gone through. Let's take a look at our stats one more time. Quest completed one. Miscellaneous objectives completed two. Not sure how that happened. Daedric quest completed one. We actually were able to complete a Daedric quest. We killed 24 people. We killed one animal. We killed 38 undead. I wonder if that counts vampires, because we had to... Oh, no, we had to kill, like, an entire tomb of uh, Draugr. Let's go to crime. Crime. Total lifetime bounty, only 3,000. Our largest bounty was 1040. We picked six locks. We picked 239 pockets, and we picked pocketed 64,924 items. I assume each gold piece is one item. So we pickpocketed like 60,000 gold to pay for our college education. We only went to jail four times. Last time we went to jail a lot. We never escaped from jail. We assaulted 23 people. We murdered 14 people. And we only trespassed one time. Congrats on destroying solitude. I'm Audi. Love ya. Ever searcher. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you for coming along. City of Solitude. I love you. And I also hate you. Stop shooting me, guys. I I'm, I'm getting a sentimental shot here. Solitude, I bid you farewell. Oh, oh, don't disappear on me like that. Let me just get a screenshot of it. Um. Do you mean what's next in terms of what city... Will we do next? What's next on stream? Uh, to be honest, I don't really know what's next. Also, sorry if I uh, didn't, if I missed any messages um, in chat. I was really focused there on getting some good finale footage for this video. I think that last sort of bit will tie everything together really well. I don't know what I really want to do for the video itself. I know I want it to be sort of 
spy themed or like, uh, you know, like it's a spy mission or James Bond esque, something like that. I want to do like a completely different theme than the first one so that it's still pretty um, unique. I want it to like com- be completely different than the first one because I know people will probably see it and be like, oh, I remember seeing the first one and then click on it and I want them to be. I, I want them to be, you know, one in the same series, but also really different. But I am pretty nervous to make this video because the first one is the first video on my channel to like really take off. I think it's like 300,000 hits. It's just stupid at this point. <laughs> um, I was thinking of Riften. But I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Absolutely not Riverwood. Riverwood sounds <laughs> Riverwood sounds miserable. Plus, like, what are the barriers of Riften? I guess Riften does have three gates, right? Riften has the gate you usually come through on a Skyrim playthrough, the gate that exits out that goes to Whiterun, and then there's also a side gate. So staying between those gates and not crossing the river, I guess, would be the goal. But, man, there's, there's just nothing in Riverwood. So... We'll have to see. Well, we'll have to see. Um, Riften would be fun, but I don't know if I want to do Riften next. Because if I do Riften next, since it's so Thieves Guild heavy, it's going to be similar to this one, to where we go, okay, we have to sell goods, we have to steal stuff. The first one was all about murder and mayhem. This one was about stealth and breaking the game and pickpocketing and making money without using alchemy and stealing an education, completing a quest that causes us, you know, breaking through a wall and whatnot. So there's a lot of different mechanics. I think that we showed off in this video that's different than the first one. So for the third one, Windhelm actually could be pretty interesting. But the first one, Banjo, this one, yes, this one was mayhem and murder at at the end. The first one was all murder. It was all sneaking around and stabbing people. This one, we trained archery, although ultimately we didn't really use it in the end. It was kind of disappointing. We used archery to kill the guy that we trained archery on the entire time. Um, Although I guess when I'm making this video, there were a few wasted streams. Like, Like yesterday, we just shot arrows at a guy constantly Markarth could be fun because yes there is there's the Forsworn conspiracy there's um there's the mission I think the fourth fourth sworn conspiracy is the one where you do go to jail Markarth also does have a Dwemer dungeon it has a lot of uh there there is a lot of content in Markarth without leaving but uh, it also has a Daedric quest that you can unlock when you get to a certain level within Markarth, you can get the Mace of Molag Ball, which isn't that the best weapon in the game? I think it's one of the best ones. Oh, you do have to leave for the day's request? Oh, I thought you would just walk past the house and you had to go inside. Maybe there's a way to glitch it, kind of like how we glitched uh, Patema's Catacombs. Windhelm does sound interesting. Winterhold sounds awful. Morthal sounds awful. I wanted to do Solitude next, though, because Solitude was probably, I I would say, of the Skyrim cities, either Solitude or Riften is the second most recognizable compared to Riften. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to have to finish this video, though, and I'm sure people will suggest in YouTube comments of where where it goes next i'm probably i'm probably not going to start creating this video until tomorrow and depending on what kind of momentum i get tomorrow or what ideas i have it'll probably take a little bit so we might actually start the next challenge for the channel next because that might be a little bit quicker turnaround than this video will be but i'm not putting too much pressure on myself to upload super quickly because I've been really happy with the quality of videos on the channel lately, so I'll take all the time that I need. Um, I mentioned yesterday that there was a challenge I had in mind 
that certainly I don't I don't think I could actually do it. It would probably be nearly impossible. Also, thank you again, Mick, for the um, uh, raid and for anybody who came from Mickey's Shinmu uh, Shinmu stream. That game is strange. It's a cult classic, though. I don't know if I could ever enjoy playing. I don't know if I would I would be able to play it all that much. Um, but again, thank you to everybody who came from his stream and followed. But I did mention yesterday on stream another challenge that kind of interests me is making one million caps in Fallout 3. So last night, after I had played Dying Light for several hours, because I've just been addicted to Dying Light 2 since I bought it the other day, uh, I loaded up Fallout 3 and started a character, and I was thinking, hmm, I'm just going to only try to make cash on this character. So I started it out, um, and that's kind of what I want to do next is jump in. Jump into that save and just kind of explore where I'll uh, possibly, possibly take it. Although a, a million caps in New Vegas is certainly doable. Fallout 3 would be insanity. But so far, I think I've actually made decent progress. I think I've made okay progress. Also, I just like Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is fun. And there's just not many... There's not a lot of Fallout 3 content. I feel... I, li I love Fallout 3. Fallout 3 gets shafted, man. Granted, New Vegas is great. I love New Vegas. But Fallout 3 does kind of get shafted. Not that scene. Is it up? Oh, there it is. So here's a character I made. Uh, I named him L. I don't know why I named him L. Um, I gave him the Fred Durst soul patch. Had to. And Tunnel Snake hair. But this entire character is built on melee. Let me, let me go to the skills. It, it's based on melee and repair very heavily and a little bit of barter you know barter is like the third one and this medicine so i don't have to buy as many don't have to buy as many chems and stims and whatnot and i can save i can save on all of that but i only played for how long did i play last night two and a half hours i played so i, I played for a little bit on it and when you count the you know half hour intro made it up to six thousand caps Made it up to 6,000. And I'm keeping the silence 10 millimeter pistol from Mr. Burke because I think it's cool. And if I do use a gun, that's the one that I want to use. GTA London? We mentioned that the other day. Is, is GTA London a thing? Two megaton. Hold on. I want to look this up. GTA. GTA London. Oh, oh, it's one of the classics. It's a top down. I remember my parents used to be cool with me playing GTA back in the day. They used to be cool with it when it was top down. Oh, Kevor, don't don't remind me of how awful my uh, my desktop is. It's a mess. It gives me anxiety. It's it's really bad. <laughs> it's a total disaster. I tried to go to Grey Ditch and actually got my ass kicked. So I, I think I want to get to Canterbury Commons. Par I, I don't remember it exactly, but when I was looking it up, if you go to Canterbury Commons, you can uh, you can actually do some sort of trader thing. I think there's a quest you have to complete there, but if you do complete that quest, then you can invest in the caravans, and they have way more money. And apparently that's the best way to just sell equipment straight up for cash. What do we have to just move straight east of here? So let's go to Canterbury Commons. I thought Canterbury Commons was the antagonizer versus the mechanist, the original. My mo <laughs> if my mom did see my desktop icons, she would probably go nuts. She would lose her mind.
I'll be the radio. Who needs the in-game radio when I can whistle? Uh, has anybody played Dying Light 2 yet? Or was anybody fans of the original? I've put quite a bit of time into it already. I've been, I've been sitting on my computer non-stop the last few days. I need to get back to, uh, I, I need to work out again. That I've certainly neglected. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll let you guys take care of this. And then I'll try and take care of you guys. Alright, he's gonna die. Oh, ho, 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 shit. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Did you kill him? Okay, there's two of them. Can I take out two of them? Yeah, I think I should be able to. Just with a baseball bat. But just to be sure, take some psycho. Fully kitted out super soldiers in heavy armor. Versus one boy in a baseball bat. Versus one soul patch boy with a baseball bat. Lamer. Uh, I'll take it in case I find a second one and can repair the first one. Also, one sec. My frame rate is absolutely tanking. I think it's because I think it's because I minimized the game too many times. He's been playing, your brother's been playing on the PS4. It's probably, it's probably a pretty rough experience if you're a, an FPS junkie. Three hundred and fifty for full set. Now my frame rate still is kind of crap in its pants. Maybe it's just this part of the map. Either way, ooh, it is ugly. Can I kill a rad scorpion? Actually, I probably should try to before my psycho runs out. Just run circles around it. It can't hit me. I think I'm getting close to the right place. Canterbury Commons, right? Oh, oh, this is Temple of the Union. These are the people who uh, they try and free slaves. I'll discover it, but sorry, no interest in being a good lad right now. I'm looking out for my uh, my pockets and my soul patch. I need to make I need to make a million caps so I can buy the best razor in all of the wasteland. A shick three blade. I'll be able to maintain this bad boy for years. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with a baseball. Oh my gosh, that takes me back to the onset of internet memes and whatnot. You guys remember when dogs were, like, really powerful? I swear, dogs in Fallout 3 are overpowered. <laughs> They're so tough. They eat. They eat damage. Look at that thing. It's just a dog. You have to be, do you admit, can you imagine how strong you'd have to be to sever something's head? Like, in a clean cut? Maybe a little jagged cut, maybe not totally clean, serrated in a way, but with a wooden baseball bat? I could see smashing it, maybe, but complete removal? Man, the Vats camera is rough. In in melee, the Vats camera is very hard to look at. So I actually have been uh, Nephilim. 
I have the house. One of the first things I made sure to do was get the house in Megaton and just start storing blood bags for eventually doing the vampire quest and started collecting sugar bombs as well. I can collect books. So I started storing books in there. I also started storing copies of kind of expensive weapons that I don't have a repair copy for yet. Just so that I could repair them to full and sell them eventually. I could take bloat fly meat, but I'm really not too concerned about it right now. Acid armor, thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a good Saturday. Enjoy the weekend. Man, repair is such a good skill. I also got the house because I wanted to hang out with Wadsworth. I like Wadsworth. He's a nice guy. Am I walking in circles? Oh my god, what am I doing? Going the complete wrong direction. I feel so lonely out here. This is depressing. I don't know why my frame rate is so bad. I try not to be a frame rate junkie, but there we go. See, now it's smooth. Now it looks good. Here's where we gotta go. Canterbury Commons. Um, so what was I saying? Um, I, I am looking out for scrap metal books or pre-war books blood bags sugar bombs and dog tags those are the five things i believe that you can collect repeatedly and turn in for very large amounts of cash and xp pirates hello how are you oh i should i have to change the uh i have to change the stream subject don't i it still says we're on skyrim Second. Allowed three. One million caps. I'm going to title the stream. Good data. Can't get too far ahead of its models. Greetings again, sweet America. This is. Eh, uh, Kevor, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong at all. This town, not while it's under the protection of the mechanist. You and your pathetic tin cans are no match for my army. <laughs> Can I just kill them both right now? The mechanist is here to protect them. I love his animations. We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his Oh, wait, X this is XP. I gotta get involved in this fight. Protect uh, they drop scrap metal. So I choose to be on the antagonizer side. Humans may be weak sometimes, but our creations are strong. Are you alright? You aren't hurt. That was funny. To apologize for the rude they just ran away. Been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome. Uh, you seem pretty calm, considering there was just a war in your streets. I don't know if I would call that a war. That's a bit of an overstatement. That must be Something must be up with my game. His rifle isn't there loading in. There are problem citizens, the mechanist and the ant agonizer. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer. That woman with the ants, obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. That was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. 
Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the Ant Agonizer and the Mechanist hide and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I 200 think caps? I have 6,000. And not much of a payday. But my speech is too low. I'm afraid that won't do, friend. Are you Great. I'm relieved to know the situation will be quickly resolved. Let me know if I can be of assistance to you. Oh, and please, do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in the streets. The mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town until it got torn up in one of the Ant Agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the Mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants. So, if you guys were in the apocalypse, what do you think would be more valuable? The ability to control uh, robots or the ability to control actual life like the ants i think that the ants if you were able to sort of translate that control into other animals would be far more beneficial than robots robots are beneficial they have lasers and can blow things up but think in terms of livestock and merchant routes and i don't know oh follow three does love its ants okay hold on I, I need to let me this is driving me nuts right, let me let me make sure I'm not running any other programs or something that could be slowing down my game you close out of everything else it's fallout 3 it, it, I've never seen it run like this it's driving me nuts driving me nuts ants for Kwama eggs Can I do a... Wait, uh, Mick, are you able to do a poll in chat? Can you run a poll of, uh, robots or ants? What side of the war are you on? Not just ants, but animal life. Just stumbled into town? Never. I'm Joe Porter. I make sure. Thanks, Joe. Looks pretty nice here. Unpurified water? I'm insulted. Sorry, but our water purifier has been on back order for about 200 years. Unless you're here to make the delivery. All right, so I should be able to find the mechanist or anarch or the antagonizer and stop their rivalry. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have a quest marker for it. How the hell am I supposed to function without a quest marker? Care of our town's little problem. Newcomer to town. I don't think it's a tech up. I don't, I don't think it's a stream elements command with, like, an exclamation point. I think it's a... Uh, I think it's an actual Twitch thing. I think you have to go into, like, the mod menu. You know how to bring that view up? You personally threaten every visitor to your town? Maybe I can introduce a new pastime, shooting nosy guards. I, I, I don't want to start any fights with these people. Sounds like a good plan. Keeps the traders happy that way. And... Bro hired you to put a stop to their shit, did he? Guess he finally listened when I told him I haven't got the time to do it myself. You don't even have the it's time to turn around and face me. When those two square off, but they're only getting worse about it all. You mean Scott Walensky? I refuse to call him by that ridiculous name just because his head got a screw loose. He used to be a damn good friend, and not just because he fixed my guns up. Now he spends all his time up in that bot shop just thinking about fighting that ant agonizer. If you could just make either one of them stop fighting, it'd do the trick. I can't imagine Scott attacking the town with his robots 
and that ant agonizer girl was never much more than a sideshow freak by herself. Roe may prefer that you're thorough, but all I care about is that you get the job done. Ah, oh, there we go. We have a poll. Answer robots. This is important, guys. Yeah, I think that works. Whatever the outcome is, that will determine who lives and who dies. Although, if you really care about this playthrough and you really care about me getting a million caps, I think we should kill the uh, mechanist. Or at least kill his robots so we can take the scrap metal. It looks like there is a timer on it. It's running quick. Oh, beautiful. A traitor. Thank you. Yeah. Scavengers never have that many caps, though. I'm always disappointed. Damn, 330 for a laser rifle? I need to find more laser weapons and sell them. Thanks. I also haven't spent a single cap on this playthrough. I've only been selling stuff and making money. Oh, wow, they attack quickly. That's good for the economy. Reason, uh, reason I went with melee, at least at the beginning, until I just get bored of it, is I can sell ammo. I can just sell all the ammo I find. Which really, really adds up um, over time. This terminal. Where did my radio go? Where did Enclave radio go? It's gone. I miss President John Henry Eden. Ants wins. How does Ants win? I really was expecting robots to win there. Although I am on the side of ants. Now, if I kill the mechanist, will I still be able to get the bonus from the uh, trading caravans? Because if you go outside of Megaton, every three hours a new trader comes through with the full inventory. Oh, 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 shit. I didn't realize he had all this. I'd like to leave. Well, shit. That's not good. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Daggerfall Unity is fun. We should do a Daggerfall stream again soon. I should try and come up with some kind of Daggerfall challenge I can do. There's only one entrance into this place. Dude, how do I get past those robots? I'm gonna need a lot of drugs, aren't I? Maybe I could try and level up and then come back here. At the very least, we have this place discovered. And that's a good sign. Evening. You want something? I need to get a better weapon. Well, I don't want to complete that quest yet. I need to get the bonus if I'm going to complete it. I just did a video about Moira Brown's quest. And last night I decided to start doing Moira Brown's quest again. I guess I'll store. I could store the outcast power armor in my house. It's super heavy. Good hunting.
You want something? If I have, what are my, oh, my karma's too high. I was going to say I could get, what's his face? Jericho is a follower, but my karma's high. There we go. Here's what we have so far. Six blood packs, a pre-war book, and two sugar bombs. And three scrap metal. Fission battery. I gotta sell these fission batteries. They're taking up a lot of weight. And then in this locker is where I store stuff that I might be able to repair at a later date. Why the hell do I have a hockey mask? I'm just gonna put the hockey mask on. Screw it. I don't use unarmored, but... Or unarmed. Damn it, see, I'm always thinking of Elder Scrolls. And Wadsworth every now and then gets purified water that we can sell for like 15 a pop. Don't scare me like that. What'd she give me, a stim pack? Although, that's a good perk, though. If I want to save money on chems, getting randomly... Talked to and given free stuff always helps. Welcome. Here to shop? Please enjoy my selection of high quality problem solvers. No one has enough no one has enough caps to buy the damn laser rifle. Thanks. All right, we're almost up to 7,000. Um, oh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. Let's just get the easy XP of getting crippled for Moira real quick. Do I have landmines? I don't. I sold my landmines. Crap. Oh my god. I suck. I can't even get myself hurt. God, that bear that did nothing. Okay, we'll jump from here. I know the fall kills me if I go straight to the ground. So we'll try to land somewhere on this. Oh, right there. Maybe a little bit lower. Maybe I actually can survive the full fall. My endurance is pretty decently high. Why is my frame rate so shit? It's pissing me off. And then it kills... An extra... One foot fall kills me. Uh, do I have to... Looking to trade? Please. Okay, I did save after I traded with him. That's good. I'm gonna have to redo the trading. Hey, everyone's so nice in this town. That's a good idea, though. I'll take my armor off. Just, I'll go naked. I'll keep the hockey mask on, though. Ah! Ooh, almost. I gotta heal, though. I need my health back without repairing my limbs. Off to the toilet! Why is the urinal so good at healing? Oh! 
No way. Oh, it did the other leg. Damn it. I can't get crippled to save my life. Yeah, I don't like German chocolate cake. I don't like vanilla cake. I don't like birthday cake. You know what I do like? Urinal cakes. Mmm. Isn't that tasty, kids? All right, we got it. Broken leg. Yeah, it's like a minty lavender. Apologies for skipping all of her dialogue. We spent a lot of time with Moira Brown last week. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you mm. to keep up your spirits. Here, take this invite. Well. Alright. Taking a break from the research. And I'll be back. Did I get any XP for that? I don't think I don't even think I got XP for it. I should have gotten a perk. Or do I not get a perk? I just get the environment suit. This thing sucks. I don't need to avoid radiation. I want to bathe in it. Well, regardless. Hello, my we finished that objective. One one C three C R three four M. Hello! How are you? That was a very enthusiastic high. I love the exclamation pointed high. It's very positive. Welcome. Good to see you. Let's see if he has any water we can take. Yeah, I don't plan on drinking that water. This is just straight cash. All right, now we need to make a move towards some place that can get us XP. Gray Ditch, we're going to get killed. The ants are just too powerful for my baseball bat to take him out. Let's just see if there's a random event at the Super Duper Mart. Oh, you fuckers again? It's always these assholes. And now I'm addicted to Psycho. Damn it. God, I can't catch up to him. Quit running away. God damn it, this guy's almost dead. I gotta go for him. He's not almost dead, but we did the most damage to him. You, you're such an asshole. Quit running away. Oh, shit. What? Oh, run. Oh, God. That whole thing's gonna explode. There it is. Holy crap. I did not know that. The whole bus is gone. Damn it, and it killed the last guy. I didn't get XP for killing him. I didn't get the credit. But that guy had sugar bombs. That'll pay off later. Beat Fallout 3 without leaving. How? You, you can't. It is required. You must leave Megaton. Can you play Fallout 3 without leaving Megaton? Hey, different story there. Different can of worms right there. 
I only had a laser pistol. I mean, we can make money off of all this for sure. And we got like 100 XP. Ah, new trader as well. Looking to trade? Always. Tell me what you need, and maybe I've got your fix. Hmm. 32 pistol. Can't get rid of the laser rifle quite yet. Ditch the laser pistol. There we go. We're up to 7,000. All right. We have made it one tenth of 1% of the way to our final goal. All in one stream. Or all in one portion of one stream, I guess. I'm already suffering from psycho withdrawal. How do you clear an addiction? Oh, I have to pay the doctor, don't I? Forgot about all these raiders. I killed them, but I didn't finish looting them all. I took most of their armors. Though I probably have to repair my own. Yeah. I'll repair my own so it's actually decent. And because I don't want to pay for healing without touching the ground. Can you beat Skyrim while TCL'd? I like, I like our version of challenges. Most people try to beat the game completely. I like to just complete a stupid arbitrary goal. <clears throat> blood bags? No blood bags. Thank you, Wadsworth. I'm happy I'm alive too. I'll store the laser rifle for now, it's just too expensive. And then consolidate this assault rifle. Actually, let's just go sell it. We should be able to sell it. Yeah, I like making... If it's just to sort of like beat the game, it is what it is. But like the you know the ones we do in Skyrim where we just stay in one town the whole time, those are kind of fun because we just we set the rules and the goal evolves and you kind of learn what the goal is <clears throat> in the middle of doing the challenge. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and, and crap. Of course, he has enough gold. Or gold. He has enough uh, caps to where I could have sold him the laser rifle. Give me a shot. Quick math. Seven and a half thousand. Almost up to eight thousand. So, Kevor, what we tried to do with pickpocket actually in the middle of that challenge, we did try to replace the armor on one of the guards. But we actually weren't able to. What was I going back to my house for? Oh, I was going to the doctor. I need to cure the addiction. Again? Really, lady? All of us here thank you for everything you've done. It's the you looking to trade, stranger? Why did the, she comes up to me like every day? I appreciate the kind gesture. Don't get me wrong. I will always take free stuff. I'm Doc Church. That'll be. Oh, it's only 50 caps to cure addiction. Pfft. Let's do it. Who needs rehab? All. All right, I waited here for a whole day. There's probably a new random event at the Super Duper Mart. Perfect. Oh, there's not. Well, I know if I go right over here, there's going to be quite a lot of enemies. A couple super mutants on this side of the river. So we could try to take them out first. 
Usually, uh, usually if we cross here, there's a lady with a slave collar on. She explodes. There's some raiders. This might actually be a pretty tough fight for us to take on with just melee. Are there no super mutants here? There's no super mutants. Why are there no super mutants? Strange. I'm not complaining. Just strange. Looking to trade, stranger? I'm looking to trade a stranger. What the hell? The super mutants just spawned in. What? They're gonna give more XP than the Raiders. So let's... Let's be on the Raiders team here for a second. Plus there's more Raiders over there with like automatic weapons and stuff. What if the super mutants just disappear? They just- they did. Oh wait, they died? Oh, oh shit! I picked the wrong side in this battle! I should have sided with the Raiders! Oh god! Why, why me? Please, I'm one of you! Can't they tell? Why would they shoot me right away? Yeah, this is this event here respawns very often. You could wait a couple in in in-game days and then just come right back here if you like need a shotgun or an assault rifle or something. Use the tree as cover. Tactical operations. Wait, no, 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 you're gonna take my kill. You fuckers. Oh, you f I appreciate the loot, but don't take my damn kill. Hey, this one's stuck in the water. <laughs> They're vulnerable. Yeah! Ah, oh, damn it. It's kind of tough to get this guy, actually. There we go. <laughs> Got him. I don't think I got XP for that kill either. Damn, Fallout 3 kind of stingy sometimes with the XP on kill. What's up with that? I've tried Tekeb to make, uh, I actually tried in the White Run video to make the Jarl non-essential and wasn't able to kill him. Game just didn't let me. Kind of bullshit. I was pissed. Can I at least sell to these guys? Oh, I kind of want to kill them though. Who are they? Hunter? Hey. Hunter? You're just hunters? Oh, you're well, you're all dead now. You took my XP. It is so hard to actually land hits in melee in this damn game. America's number- I gained karma? Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, catch her! Catch- mm. Now I gotta go deep sea diving for a suit of leather armor. Oh, strange meat. Oh, they're cannibals. Ah. Ah, they're- they're- okay, they're cannibals. That's fun. I actually was trying to get bad karma there. Chinese pistol, not bad. Now, is the leather armor good enough to where I should, yeah, I should probably just wear leather armor. It's not worth, it's worth less than the raider armor, weighs the same, and has better protection. Yeah, I'm gonna wear the leather armor instead. Now, it's gonna be a little bit harder to repair 
than the raider armor. Raider armor is nice because of how you can just repair it quickly. Zephyr, I've been well. I've been well. I hope you've been well too. Good to see you again. Traps. Spotted them. See him a wasteland survival expert. Now, what triggers these traps? Ah. Grenades didn't fall, did they? Oh, God, I thought the grenades fell. There's like, there's no conceivable way, though, that that this little tripwire here somehow loops, <laughs> loops up to drop these grenades. Oh, I can't get them. Can't get him. I'm like stretching. I'm reaching. I'm trying. See, there should be some more low level raiders in here. One or two more level ups, and I'll be in a pretty good position to take on the mechanist robots. Ah, fuck TikTok. <laughs> I appreciate it. Are these more talent company? What the hell is these? What, what are these guys' deal? What is up with these guys? Oh, you really got it out for me. I disarmed one bomb and I had the entire UN army after me. What did I do? Who hurt you? Suck baseball bat. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Here. Good amount of caps here. Which Fallout game did I enjoy more and why? Uh, for nostalgia reasons and because it helps the, uh, or it, it makes the internet kind of go nuts is uh, Fallout 3. Just because it's the, you know, it's, it's the Fallout game that really like Got me into it. I have a lot of hunting rifles. Holy crap. Also, uh, uh apologies, uh, apologies, Zephyr, <laughs> when I said, when I said fuck TikTok, I, uh, <clears throat> I have a lot of thoughts and feelings on, uh, TikTok. I, I don't really post there too, too much anymore, but I, I appreciate it, uh, regardless. It is, it is where I started, after all, making content. Holy shit, this thing's fucking me up. Why are the robo brains so powerful? Oh. Number one tactic in Fall 3, you just have to rotate in circles. And their hit chance for some reason just goes away. It just disappears. Vin, how are you? Vin Freestyle. Ooh, 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 we're getting woozy. Damn, I'm actually running low on stim packs. I'm gonna keep the, uh, uh, I'm gonna go back. We'll do a selling run. We got a decent amount of stuff there to make some cash. You're not wrong. Rotating in circles is, is a pretty good, um, Pretty good strategy. As as an experienced fighter, <laughs> given my one year of high school wrestling, in which I won two matches, uh, made it to varsity. Made it to varsity by default. The uh, 152 starter on varsity uh, broke his leg, um, but on varsity, I uh, I was two and eight. Two and eight was my all-time record. Uh, my junior year, the one year I did wrestle. Uh, two forfeits, two forfeit uh, victories because they didn't have somebody in the 152 weight class. So 0 and 8 in matches I actually wrestled in. Um, but, you know, in those two wins that I did have on varsity wrestling as a young combat uh, expert, you know, what I really learned is that rotating in circles is a good way to keep your opponent off guard. You know, when I went out onto the mat to shake the referee's hand, Raise up the hand of victory by default. 
I learned a lot about myself. And that combat isn't for everyone. It, it, you know, some of us are just born to be on the front lines, knocking skulls. And, and some people, and, and you know, I just, I just happened to be one of those people. Uh, you know, uh, I had to step away from it, though, uh, and follow the way of peace, because combat is a primitive and nonsensical way of dealing with one's problems. I've become more zen. But no, just, <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Uh, I did wrestle in high school, though, and I did go 0-8 on varsity in matches I actually did wrestle in. But... I will say, wrestling uh, is a fantastic sport that will humble you and push you to physical limits that you really did not know were possible. It is a, it is a very humbling sport. Cause I, I did have I did have several moments when I was wrestling where like I step up on the mat, shake someone's hand, I'm like, I'm gonna kick this kid's out. Boom, boom. Ah, fuck. Oh man, that did have that happened one time vividly that I remember, and I was so upset. I was so fucking mad at myself. I was handling this kid. He was significantly smaller than me, and I was like, oh, I got this. I got this in the bag, and I put my foot in just a bad position, and he grabbed my heel and lifted it and I went straight onto my back into a oh I'm so pissed I was so mad today, no I did not mean to loot the entire logger and I don't want to put everything back in there so I'm loading my auto save I know how to play this game um but also welcome there's been a few new people who have stopped by uh Vin, I didn't, I didn't get to answer your question. You asked how I was. I'm doing well. We finished up recording a Skyrim challenge that I'll have to start editing tomorrow for the channel. And that's always fun. It's always fun when the daunting realization of, oh, fuck, I actually have to edit this and put this video together starts dawning on me. Here. You've... God, these people love me. Four, 14, 14, 14 caps? Are you shitting me? That's like... That's like half a stim pack. It's like half a stim pack. Yes, it was the uh it was the solitude challenge. Looking to trade. Have Here a to look. buy. See if anything calls out to you. Oh no, you you misunderstand our relationship, Crow. You are calling out to my inventory. That's how this works. Give me a shout if Looking to trade? Always. It's my pleasure. Oh, crap, he's broke. I took all of his money. Looking for your I don't think he has money either. Let's see what the Ah, this is a problem. Everyone Everyone in Fallout 3 is short on cash. None of them have money. Non-weapon, Daedric Artifacts, and Iron Sword, and Healing. Oh, I'm sure. Need some grub? Looking to trade? Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need... Have you ever seen... Uh, have you guys ever seen... Yimfa's channel? I'm not sure how that, if that's how it's pronounced. Y-M-F-A-H. But he's done a, a Skyrim run... Where he doesn't use the movement keys... I think that's probably the most mind-boggling Skyrim run conceived. He uses, like, shouts and a bunch of other weird glitches and whatnot to get his character to move across the map. It's, it's insane. But YMFAH is the channel. It's an awesome channel. Uh, certainly, you'll if you watch some of his videos, you'll certainly see 
where some of my channel gets some of its influence from. Like a lot of the uh, high action sort of scenes that I like to do on the channel now are certainly influenced by Yumfa's channel. You know, using like music and cuts and stuff like that. Truth be told, I just really enjoyed how he used music in his videos. He doesn't actually do any commentary. He just has text on screen with a lot of different music in his videos and his videos are 40 to 50 minutes long and he explains all of his complicated runs and whatnot just through text, but they're great videos. Accidentally took a coffee mug. How you doing? How'd you get down here? What was that? Oh, feral ghouls. It is. No, <laughs> very small Willie. You make a good point there. <laughs> it is. He has a good sense of humor. That's a very hard thing to do. Isn't this an Easter egg room? Take the turpentine. It's worth 10 caps each. The plunger room. Yeah, he's got plungers stuck on the ceiling. Oh, he tried to, yeah, because when the when the companions first starts out, you have to actually attack that guy to prove your worth. You slimy fucker. Are there any super mutants even here? Ooh, mini nuke. Mini nukes are fantastic for making money. No wait. And each one sells for like 200, 250 caps. They sell for a ton. When I first played Fallout 3, you know, way back in the day when it had first come out, and when I, had, when I basically had completed the game, and was just roaming around the map after finishing Broken Steel and being rank 30 and just being an overall complete beast, I would like to collect mini nukes because for every eight mini nukes, I would have an extra shot with the experimental Merv, the one that shoots out eight mini nukes at one time. So I would try and just get to the point where I could fire off as many mini nukes as possible until the game would just basically explode. Does anybody use the Chinese pistol in Fallout 3? I feel like that could actually not be too bad of a challenge. Fallout 3 with only the Chinese pistol. much in there where am i on the map i gotta discover a location over here so i can have a fast travel point watch i bet after i wait 13 hours talon company mercs are gonna attack me again which isn't always a bad thing but they're fairly tough at this level and i gotta take all their stuff and sell it Eaves of Cud. Why does that ring a bell? I feel like I've heard of it before. Skyrim, but only using shouts. If I did that, uh, well, I guess there are... Unrelenting Force works on some lower level enemies. Can you really build a character around just shouts? 
Because I don't think the reduced shout time enchantment can be learned and applied to other gear. That would be so fun, though. Maybe you can do that, and I just am not knowledgeable on it. Merry Chrysler. Let's go in here. This looks like a place that'll be guarded by a lot of robots, which means scrap metal. Shit, it's super mutants? Really? Do I have GNR? No, I'm still on Galaxy News Radio. Ooh. Step on the trap. No! <laughs> he phased through existence. Come back to me. Carna cigarettes, always good money. How do you miss? How do you miss twice? Bonk. I'm a bonk machine. What can I say? Do I actually need the nail boards that I have on me? By the way, I think I'm still carrying a couple. I'm carrying one. Yeah, it's a good emergency weapon to have. Alright, one at a time. We gotta focus fire him. I have to, like, stand inside them to make them miss their shots. This baseball bat sucks! Oh, don't pick up the automatic weapon. Please just die, die everything. Does this game not have like combat music if your radio isn't on? I just realized I haven't gotten combat music at all. There's no way, right? Am I crazy? Oh, shit, shit, whoop, oh. Fuck. Flanked. Missed. Oh, look at that beautiful mutant. Look at the beautiful detail in that face. Scrap metal. I love finding scrap metal. John Henry Eden guy. Sounds kind of crazy. Although he's just an AI. Dude, Fallout New Vegas totally ripped off John Henry Eden with Mr. House. Fallout 3 was so cool to play when it first came out. It was just such a different... I don't know, I mean, I'd grown up with Morrowind and Oblivion heavily, and then when Fallout 3 came out, it was just such a different experience for 14-year-old me. I don't think I can get into any of these doors because they're locked. Might have explored everything here.
Yeah, I think that's it for us in here. I don't think there's a whole lot much else in here. Yeah, let's go take out Mr. House. I remember I used to always, uh, and this might piss people off. A common thing I used to always do in my Fallout 3 playthroughs was kill 3-dog. Because as a playthrough went on, I got so sick and tired of hearing the exact same news reports from 3-dog that it was nice to just have the only interruption between the awesome soundtrack be... 3-Dog was our announcer, but some asshole killed the guy. And then it would just go right into the next song. Oh, no, really? I mean, I, 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 could, I could see it. Uh, and referring to Bob. That car's gonna explode. Oh no, the bus is gonna explode. I probably have one stim pack left, which sucks. Really don't want to be running out of them. I don't want to spend caps on meds. Flamer, really? We're doing this? We're bringing out the big guns? Yeah, drop it. How's that feel? No, put the gun down. Put the gun away. What kind of shape is my armor in? Eh, not the worst, but... Certainly could be doing better. Digging around for scrap metal. I can just fast travel back to where I was. Back to Megaton. Yeah, I mean, it, it just, you know, hearing the same, uh, the same news story repeatedly gets a little grating. So I would always take him out and it was awesome to have a replacement that just is like, no news, some guy, someone killed the last guy, fuck it. One thirty-four for a Chinese pistol. That's why we take the Chinese pistols. Hunting rifles, disappointingly, don't make all that much money. Why do I have a nail board in here? Why am I holding on to a nail board? No sugar bombs, but we did find more scrap metal. We'll add that to the pile of repeatable, repeatable quest items. How are we doing with Stimpaks? I have seven. I thought I had way less. It's actually not the worst. Let's also let the markets refresh. Kevor, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Honestly, I appreciate anybody who's been hanging out and coming to the streams. I know there's been a lot of new faces over the last couple of weeks. I've also been streaming significantly more than I really ever have in my life. Obviously, it's it's a combination of wanting to get challenges done and recorded, but also kind of committing to wanting to stream all of the challenges that end up on YouTube. And now that I think about it, I mean, we've done quite a few videos in a row have all been streamed. And I think it's a cool sort of way to I, honestly I think the best way to like I guess promote a stream and to promote a community is to just record and make an edit good hunting although right now we're not recording right now we're just we're just hanging out right now Who's the most annoying character to be in Skyrim? Uh, it's it's got to be one of the kids. The kids in Skyrim are such little shits. Here to acquire. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Really? You're not a fan of the guards? I think of all the Elder Scrolls games, I think the guards in Skyrim work the best. Like 
obviously it's 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 hard to do crime really well in any of those games because it's just i feel like it's just something complicated to do um but they're you know i mean we saw it on the last challenge we were doing you can get to a point with speech where you can tell them off on really cheap crimes granted it's, it's the same dialogue each and every time and which does get old flavors. but having Take some of those care. options is nice and they're not like you know they're not the robocop all-knowing badasses that are so overpowered yeah, in um oblivion oh, oblivion's i i hate oblivion's guards in, in terms of like how they actually work in game they're a fantastic meme and i love how the oblivion guards work Welcome. not how they work i hate how they work um but how they uh you know what i mean like you will be completely invisible you'll be wearing a cloak of the invisible goddess and you'll be picking an, a novice level lock and you'll be in a store sneaking around for 30 seconds and all of a sudden the camera zooms in stop you violated the law I fucking hate Oblivion Guards. <laughs> Love them for the memes and because it's Wes Johnson and it's iconic. Looking but I fucking face. hate how they actually play See in game. <laughs> good doctor has in his magic bag. Fly out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm much appreciated. I've been having a ton of fun uh, recording the streams and turning them into videos for the channel. And, you know, it's, it's so funny for uh, what's been happening on the channel just with so many people seeing obviously newer videos but then going back to older videos i i so i cringe when i watch a lot of my older skyrim videos like uh the species randomizer um the pretty much anything before the loadout randomizer kind of makes me cringe uh one video that was getting a lot of hits was when i did requiem and Frostfall at the same time, and I was pretending to be Les Stroud from Survivor Man. If you guys ever watched that show, fucking legendary. Survivor Man is like premium man versus wild. It's, it's, you know, it's the premium OnlyFans subscription version of man versus wild. It's, it was fantastic. It was one man in a webcam in 2007, and he said, fuck it. I'm in the wilderness. That's my show. Uh, but that video, I, I've gone and rewatched it because a lot of people have commented on it, and most of the comments go, Les Stroud? Oh, subscribe. <laughs> and uh, it, it makes me kind of cringe just at, like, how the audio is and how the way I edited it, my face cam is just up in the corner, and it's static, and I don't like that at all. I actually really like removing the face cam for most videos, and it, it's just a style thing, but... I'm glad that I have those videos up and that people still enjoy them. The idea of staying in Whiterun. Technically, that wasn't my most recent video. Uh, there have been three since then, which I encourage you watch so that the YouTube algorithm respects my Fallout content. Um, <laughs> but no, I appreciate you watching and um, enjoying either way. That was a ton of fun to do, and I really didn't... Uh, I've I've been blown away at how positive um at how positive people have been. Uh it, it's been crazy. It, it's 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 seriously, seriously been overwhelming at how kind some people are. What the f I'm in the middle of being sentimental here. Hey, hey! I can, oh Jesus, they're going right past he's fastballing me. Dodged every single one though, cause I'm a beast. Um, oh, are you shitting me? I got st stuck in a hedge. Sorry, I totally got distracted there. I was saying some nice stuff. I always... Dude, is... Do I not always get fucking interrupted? Every time I try to be sentimental and say something kind. Or just thank people. It's always assholes like... I can't hit them. Fucking... Stop moving! Oh. Anyway, what was I saying? No, I just I appreciate it. It's it's been fun. Um and I'm I'm really looking forward to doing the next few videos. Actually though, fly out. 
we finished uh, recording the next iteration of that staying in the same city in Skyrim challenge. We did Solitude, and it should play out very, very differently. But, uh... <laughs> you I wanna... Dude, that sucked. Oh my god. You may remember that? Somebody put one of my videos on 4chan and they all were accusing me of, uh, like, self-promoting and whatnot. It was so weird. I was like, why would I want to promote my fucking video on 4chan? Um, rest in peace to Worst RPG Ever series. One episode. Episode one to episode one. Anyway, I'm getting fucking distracted here. I meant to say something and I completely forgot. Uh, oh, you asked, does the level one Fallout New Vegas video make me cringe? I actually haven't rewatched that one in a really long time, but no. I would say no. The only part of it that makes me cringe is uh, the intro. Because I think I can capture much better B-roll. Is this Andale? Am I in Andale? It's actually a fairly um, popular kind of challenge format. I know uh, I know. Call Me Kevin has done quite a few on his channel. Uh, his most popular is One Chunk Skyrim, he does. No, not, not Skyrim, uh, One Chunk Minecraft. Oh, Mick, you never heard of this guy? Uh, well... <laughs> Once again, when you're an expert of the wasteland, you can uh, you can predict when these traps are going to attempt to kill you. Y yes, Protectron, we need scrap metal. It's not uh, it's not that the editing is editing is bad on that video, but it also again that video has I believe my face cam is static throughout the video. I just think I could have done a little bit better with it. I could have narrated it a little bit more, and I could have, honestly, maybe even used less gameplay. Maybe some music in there. Is this going to be a trap, too? Where is Andale? Does anybody know where Andale is on the map? If I remember correctly, I think Andale is right about here. I think it's close to Megaton. Actually, maybe it's further out. Maybe it's by Tenpenny Tower. Fall New Vegas Pokemon. That one was fun. Oh, were these were all the Temple of the Union? I think there's a ton of slaves here. Stop shooting me. It's not nice. Stop it. Cut it out. Cut it out, please. I do not like that. I am really not a fan. God, I need to level up. So quick. Wheaton Armory. Like there's gonna be a lot here. There's already a lot of raiders. Buff out medics. Wish I had Psycho, but I don't. I can't believe I'm still just using the same baseball bat. <laughs> Damn it, quit blocking me. Okay, that was cool. That was a cool kill cam.
Later. Another cool kill. We're two for two. You wanna be my new boyfriend? <laughs> Holy fuck. Stop, stop, stop. Put put the put the racket launcher away, you psychopath. Don't shoot. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, oh. God damn it. Dude, you lost with a rocket launcher to a baseball bat. And his head just falls off. I'm massacring them with a Louisville slugger. That was an ass kicking. And we got the level up. Um, okay. Now, I think we're actually doing okay with the barter skill. I'm gonna leave it where it is. Don't really think that there's a point to maxing it out. Let's get melee up to 70. Repair is fine as well for us. And let's, let's just go medicine and melee weapons. Fly out, absolutely appreciated. Come on back anytime. And uh, yeah, keep uh, keep watching the you know YouTube channel. It certainly it helps the uh, you know ego, <laughs> I guess. No, but I appreciate it. Actually, I think I'm gonna take toughness. Ten percent to overall damage resistance. Yeah, toughness should be a pretty decent one to take right now. So I can be a little bit less spongy, or a little bit more spongy. such this isn't a dumb way to play the game but damn this is a fun way to play fallout 3 i can't lie it's like the amount of caps that i have is a high score and it's fairly limiting because i haven't i uh, other than the 50 caps that i spent to cure my addiction i haven't spent any caps which also makes me nervous though because i'm about to run out of stim packs Those are sugar bombs. I'm sure you guys have a keen eye for sugar bombs. Wait, this place rocks. Right away, stim packs. This is all great. What is. Oh, shit. That scared me. I guess I just gotta bum rush this turret. Who knew the solution to taking out turrets was just to get your shoulder stuck? Oh, it's a very, both of them very hard to get into. Does anybody know what's in there? It's the Wheaton Armory. Scrap metal. Whole entire trip was worth it. Sensor module, those are worth quite a bit. After playing quite a bit of a, uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. How many times can I say that in... Two sentences. Uh, after playing a lot of Fallout New Vegas recently, 
and then coming back and playing a lot of Fallout 3 in a short time, sp time span, they, uh, I'm kind of realizing how few miscellaneous items there are in Fallout 3. Is this Evergreen Mills? No, it's, uh, yeah, Wheaton Armory. Oh, shit. Can I get in? Is, is there even an entrance over here? But at the bottom of Wheaton Armory, there's a very hard terminal with a very hard locked door. So you just have to have 100 science or lockpick to get in. I don't think that there's anything else actually here. Could try and get all the way up to the top, see if there's maybe some stuff I can collect. Although, damn, is it barren. Could you imagine living here? Where's the living room? You just order things by floor? Have you seen my medication? Oh yeah, it's on third floor. Next to the rubble. Now oh, that narrows it down. Ah. Yes. Worth it. So worth it. Oh. <laughs> you talk about a victory. That was huge. All right, let's make a trip back to Megaton. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun going through Fallout Three and not remembering the vast majority of it. It's quite fun. Also, Slows. Congratulations, welcome, first time chat. Thanks for coming by. We're not uh, we're not recording. If anybody is, uh, if anybody has like just recently dropped in, we're not recording for any challenges for the channel. We're just hanging out. This is a, kind of a personal challenge I've been thinking of that would be fun to go for, and I am rather addicted to it. My goal is one million caps. Um, I guess we're almost one percent there. Well, think about it. We're 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 one percent there, and that's not including a lot of the capital that we currently have on us. And you know what would suck is if I do get this challenge, voice crack. Uh, if I do get this challenge, and then eventually think of making a video on it, and I realize, oh shit, I have none of this recorded. <laughs> if we start to get close, then it would be a video where I would just tell the story of it. No, there is there is a lot of glitches. I, I think it has something to do with these lockers. Because I was Googling to try and see if anybody has actually gotten a million caps in Fallout 3 and wasn't able to find anything. Didn't seem like anyone's been able to. All right, let's sell. Let's sell everything that we have, or not. Now let's just keep saving it, because there there will be a run where my barter skill is really high, and I have a ton of weapons in here that are, you know, full repair level. So what I can do is I can just start storing valuables in here and sell them at a later date. Or even consolidate and repair them all. I mean, why not? Why do it all right now? Although the armor, the armor will sell. Does anybody know how I can repair leather armor? The, the one thing I liked about the Raider armor is that it's super easy to repair. Welcome back, Brooke.
looking for that. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Give me a shout if you need. Looking to trade? Please, enjoy my selection of high quality problem solvers. High quality problem solvers. I like this guy. He's got a good attitude about things. Like 100 caps, we'll sell. Hold on, I'm trying to do math in my head. 0. 0.6 times 18, or 18 divided by 0. 0.6. Roughly under one half, thirty-four. I don't know if my math there was correct at all. Could have been dead wrong. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, my leather armor is already weak. My armor is already weak. Yeah, bank. I think eighth grade would have been when I was originally playing this. I think it, it might have come out the year before. I, I got into Fallout 3 late, because I think I borrowed it from a friend. Where else can we go? Uh, you know what we could hit is, uh, well. Could go back to Chrysalis and head east. Yeah, we're gonna hit the Chrysalis building and go east. We'll stay on the outskirts of downtown. We'll just keep panning this area, discovering locations. Because when you think about it, guys, making cash towards the end of this will be insanely easy. And boring. Not nearly as fun as it is right now. Did I get tired of dying light? No, no. I just, I needed to like, take a break, <laughs> I guess, because I was playing it a lot. Um. And I know it's, it's like people that come to my channel. I mean, I mean, even, even YouTube tells me, Hey, motherfucker, stop uploading fallout videos. <laughs> the people want Skyrim, but I have to keep myself sane. But I, I, I know, and I'm aware of the fact that at least right now, maybe not so much for streams, but at least on the YouTube channel, people mostly at this point in time, come to the channel for Skyrim. Because I can even see... That's a roamer. Um, you know, other videos on my channel, older videos, the only ones that have really gained traction outside of the Whiterun video are also other Skyrim videos. That's just, that's just how YouTube works. I think it'll take some time to break into Fallout, but if I'm able to break in to content in just Bethesda games in general, that'll be really, really exciting because I do plan on doing a lot of Starfield. Uh, so to, I guess the point that I was trying to make there, Brandon, is I don't, especially maybe, maybe on a stream it's totally different, but I know for a fact on YouTube, like, like if I did a dying light video tomorrow, oh, it would bomb. It would bomb. <laughs> I mean, the video could be great, and I could prove myself wrong. I mean, shit, what the fuck? I mean, what, what the fuck do I know? Right at the end of the day, I, I don't want to act like a know-it-all. Do, do I know how YouTube works? No. Do any of us? Not really. And, you know... To anybody who thinks that they're like a guru and they know how everything works and they always have like an answer for everything, they're probably wrong. Most of us just do this because we love it and we have fun doing it and we're passionate and we want to continue to improve and it's really all you can do. So, shit, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just need to keep doing uh, Fallout challenges and stuff and eventually it'll click. 
Or maybe I could do a dying light video. Who knows? Now, I actually don't really have any ideas for dying light. See, I need to play the game more to understand it. And that's why I've been playing Skyrim and Fallout casually so much over the past few months. Because if I play them casually, I understand them better. I understand the systems and the game in ways that I can exploit the game better just naturally from playing it. Is this the Dunwich building? Don't tell me it's the Dunwich building. It's the fucking Dunwich building, isn't it? Oh, it's Corvega. Thank God. I thought it was the Dunwich building. That building is terrifying. Yeah, Mick, you're going to be a, <laughs> a permanent full-time Shenmue creator. Wait, is this where the antagonizer is? Ah, oh, talent company, you overstepped your bounds, didn't you? Oh, they're just worker ants, good. Sorry, sorry to everybody that voted ant earlier. If you were around for that voting section, sorry. I'm just looking for scrap metal. Back off. Wait, Mick, I think that's where we come to peace. I think that's where we find peace in this never-ending battle that we've been in. Ant facts. Yeah, the soldier ants actually slap. Techhead, we're still going. We're still going because I'm still having fun and I'm not that hungry yet. Just been casually listening to John Henry Eden propaganda on very low volume the whole time. Valium? Is that a weird way to say volume? Valium? Turn down the volume! Hey! That noise. It's gross, but it's also satisfying at the same time. That's how they requested that sound actually be made. We were talking to the sound design team, so what are you looking for? Well, we want it to be gross, but also satisfying at the same time. Oh, like the loot containers in Oblivion? Exactly. Hey guys, this looks like the Skyrim challenge we just did. Look at all of my fans. They love me. Insert Peter Parker. They love me. Oh my god, it's a massacre. Actually, this is probably a good place for scrap metal. I bet there's some sitting around. Where you at, scrap metal? Scrap metal. Come back, metal. Only tires. All they have. It's a car factory. They only have tires. <laughs> Your parents must have been thrilled. They were like, our son just beat Skyrim. Let's make another. Or daughter. Could be wrong. I 
after all, Skyrim and Bethesda games in general do have, uh, comparative to a lot of games, a very diverse player base. Holy fuck, what? Since when is that a thing? Why didn't anybody tell me that that existed in this game? Can I take that thing out with a fucking baseball bat? That just, that really scared me. I'm shook. That was shocking. I do not remember that. One, one bit. Greg? Who's Greg? Am I Greg? There's no way I can take this thing out. That is disgusting. I did kill all of its children. I feel bad. Oh, old Greg. I'm old Greg. I remember that. That was a, that's an old video. Okay, let's quick save and oh, great timing to fucking quick save, Captain Dumbass. Surrounded by soldier ants, I have to isolate the soldier ants and take them out first. There goes all my stim packs I saved up. I'm probably gonna use them all to get through this fight. Uh, they're starting to creep me out with how many of these things there are. And they only give 5 XP. Good god, how many stim packs do we have? Nine? I think we can get through this fight. Oh, addicted to medics. Beautiful. I'm just addicted to everything. Quick save and go. Bring it on, you large, nasty. It's it's the Quama Queen. You guys were right. Uh, oh god, this is the view that bugs have in SpongeBob when they're on screen. You remember the one where the butterfly flies onto their helmet in Sandy's uh, dome? Come on, that's cheating. He can still hit me? Jesus, it's it's like flying. Silstrode, how are you? Good to see you again. Uh, so far we have about 10,000. Although if we go net worth in total, I'd say like 15,000. Okay, I need this thing to reset. I need to reset its position. Get out here. Damn, that thing's got a laser beam. Jesus. Decent chunk of damage on it. I don't want to waste the chems that I have, though. That I have active. Looks like it's in a pretty safe spot, though. It's like its model keeps getting slightly behind another object, and I keep hitting walls and cars and stuff. This thing is bullshit! I 
I don't know if you guys have seen that, but the ant spit for like one and a half frames is visible as an object. I wonder if I can pick it up. I'm gonna try. The car's gonna explode. Oh my god, that was such a good dodge. Thank god I got out of there. <laughs> 25 XP? Are you shitting me? Way to screw me, game. At least we got through the encounter. Ant Queen, for that's it? That's it. Oh my god, what a waste. What a waste. Whoa, throw hey, hold on, I can't throw grenades at it. I gotta sell those things. They're asking me to cut into my bottom line. Jesus, there's more of these guys? This place has nothing. Yeah, railway spikes, actually, there we go. Those trade for like one cap a pop. Doctor, not terrible. I guess I guess turpentine. How does that weigh ten pounds? Give me a break, ten pounds. That's a regular old rectangle battery. Guys, I'm not going against the pole. I still haven't I still haven't completed the uh Antagonizer versus mechanized uh, versus mechanist quest. All right. Although I guess I did go against the pole by killing the fucking queen. There was nothing here. There has to be some loot in here. There's got to be some good loot. I mean, I just took out forty ants. How many do you think I killed? That was a lot of ants. I guess I can fare better in Greatish than I originally thought, but those are fire-breathing ants. Those are a whole new level of ant. A whole new ant evolution. God damn, Fallout 3 does love ants. I guess I never really even thought of it that way. This game loves ants. We also haven't cleared them out all the way. There's still one left. Scrap metal! This whole, this whole trip was worth it. We found scrap metal. Wait, really? With ant pheromones, I can control rats? Am I supposed to eat the pheromones? I'll hold on to it. Alright, screw it. I'm leaving. Nothing. Well, I wasn't quite expecting that one coming into a car factory. That was shocking. Coffee mugs? You got nothing for me. Nothing at all. It's nighttime now. I wasn't expecting that. Wait till morning, and I guarantee Talon Company shows up. I'm due. I'm due for a Talon Company. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They don't want to mess with this badass anymore. people like you in the world and what appreciate it that encounter is getting a little bit annoying though i think i'm gonna go murder some people so i can stop getting that encounter but then again bottom line gotta think bottom line here folks oh my leather armor is dead oh we're up to 9200 Actually, not doing too bad. But I really did not make... I did not make, like, any money from that entire factory. And really not that much XP. But we did find... What do we have? I think we have some blood packs. We're up to eight blood packs. And then I've got somewhere in here... Three scrap metal. Seven scrap metal now. We're collecting. We're getting there. And I guess 
just to get rid of some weight. Is there armor in here? Just the power armor. Yeah, we're going to keep the outcast power armor for now. I got to find new armor. I got to repair mine. My armor is dead. It's completely dead. I guess I'll just wait till like kill more raiders and take some raider armor. Probably should go sleep though. Not wasting stim packs on healing. Hello, my beautiful America. This is President Eaton, and it's time we have a talk. It's time we discuss something rather important. The issue at hand is well, my There we go. I love waiting. Jesus. How many times are we going to do this? You keep scaring me, lady. It's very shocking. What'd you give me, though? Stimpak? It's a Stimpak. Your sins are forgiven. I am well rested. Ah, an update. Dad. Auto saving. Good God, it's taking forever to run. There we go. It was a stim pack. Okay, we can do another Moira quest. Moira quest should be a pretty easy reward. But I need to get rid of stuff like yeah, fission battery, cigarettes, pre-war money, turpentine, wonder glue, harness cigarettes, conductor. All those are actually worth decent cash. We'll get rid of darts. And some flamer fuel. 0. 0.6. Good hunting. Almost up to 10,000. Yeah, you need something? Let's see. I bet another event will spawn here. Oh. Where am I getting shot from? Oh, oh, hey, <laughs> there we go, guys. Talon Company is back. I missed them all so much. Oh, shit, they're going with grenades now? We go with grenades. We're grenading things. Shit. Stop blocking my attacks. Oh my god. There we go. I have no protection whatsoever. I'm gonna put on his armor. There we go. This will pay off. I want this one's head on a fucking plate. What'd you say about my head? What'd you say? What? What was that? One more time. Got beat by a dude with a baseball bat and a hockey mask. Twenty-four dr. Nice. Actually, that was worth it. I have, oh, I have one stim pack left. Shit. Although, I also have the satisfaction that Talon Company has re-acknowledged my existence. That's always a good sign. I feel wanted. I no longer feel isolated. Good morning, sir. And I'll take all of Wadsworth's water. It actually, I, I feel like Wadsworth's water is going to add up to a significant amount of cash. I don't know if I'm exactly Jason from 
Friday, uh, Friday the 13th, but I feel like if he uses uh, a baseball bat, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. Combat knife is pretty good. He does use a baseball bat. I, I, if I'm honest, not very familiar with the the Friday the Thirteenth lore. Best have can. All right, now we've spent a total of 100 caps. That's it. Only spent 100 total. All better now, you big baby. That's such a strange way to talk to someone who's just been. Rid of their addiction. <clears throat> Does he have any more? Oh, thank God, there is a patient in here. Okay, well, if you don't mind, I'm gonna steal all these stim packs. I need them more than you. Trust me, doctor. I need these stim packs. Clinic and medical supplies. You won't get away with that. Oh, I will. What's happening? I'm already getting away with it. What is it? All right, now Moira needs us to go to the da -da -da, tepid sewers. Let's head that way. There's going to be a shootout here. This event is such a good way to make money. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Goodbye. I just forgot how ex how funny the exploding raiders are. Ah, uh, see now you guys talking about dinner is getting me starving. I really want Mexican food. Oh god, Mexican food sounds so good. There's this, I think it's a chain, but there's this place called California Burritos right next to me. And a giant burrito sounds really good. Although, eh, it's a California burrito. Although, I, I, I don't mind an Americanized burrito. Not too bad. But tacos? I gotta go to a Mexican place. I fucking love tacos. Oh my god. Now I'm getting hungry. Shit. What you've done. Now I'm starving. Disappointed! Doesn't really fit, but I'll make it fit. El Pastor, I actually haven't had uh, El Pastor tacos. I've had El Pastor before, really drunk. Well, look at this. We got us a wanderer all the way out here in Wilmington. Wait, Tech up what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Business out here to be wandering around, but taint none of my beeswax what you're doing. But if you're interested in trading, maybe we can help each other.
Doesn't she have some sort of side quest or a repeatable? Some fellas came out here a while ago that said they was looking for some do-gooder that came out from one of them vaults. I told them I ain't seen nobody like that and sent them on their way. They might still be around here, though, if you think you can help them. Just trying to, oh, destroy my appetite. Oh, interesting strategy. My boys are hunting lurks. Finest meat you could get. But right dangerous, those things. Just... Maybe I was thinking that she had a repeatable where you could bring her Meyer lurk meat. Oh, chimichanga sounds so good. Fuck! Oh, I thought I was doing perfect. I was locked in. I was like, whoo, disarm that. Mm, move, get in my backpack. Bitch, whoo, whoo, whoo. Scooping up landmines like they were pancakes and I fucked it all up. All right, that's the end of the stream. <laughs> that's the end of the stream. I'm leaving. What was that? Did you see that over there? Right by the wall, rolling? Oh, it was a dead body. Someone got killed. that guy he just started rolling around you gross wow the forest 2 gameplay looks awesome scavenger with a shitload of stuff on him dodged I believe inside this tent is one of the five hollow tapes needed to get into the experimental Merv vault. I didn't even know I had an alert for that. Uh, the, Eric, thank you uh, for the Patreon donation. I have to tell you though, I'm I, I still need to take care of that. I, I'm likely just going to uh, cancel the Patreon page. In all, like, total transparency, when I first started YouTube and whatnot, I used to do that, and I used to have, like, a slide at the end of my videos where I would thank the Patreons. Um, it's, uh... I guess it's... You know, in terms of, like, YouTube metrics and stuff, not good to have a super long, uh, outro screen. Not that I, not that I really care about all that that much. I, I think people, if, if, you know, they're watching, they'll stick around no matter what. But, um, what? I don't want to do a, uh, I don't really want to do, or I don't necessarily feel super comfortable doing a Patreon if there's nothing that I can really deliver on. And I started to, I, I wanted to make it something where I could have like video trailers and stuff like that, but it just is a lot to, I guess, handle, if that makes any sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but I, I need to just go on and cancel it. Thankfully, it's only at like a dollar a tier. I used to have like, I think it used to just be like five dollars, and I don't know why I did that. It was it was very stupid. I, I've refunded a lot of the subscriptions on there, but it, it's such a, or it was, there, there have been a handful of people who have gone and supported on Patreon, which obviously I really, really appreciate. Um, 
which is just crazy to me that people are actually even able to, to find it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Does that make any sense? It's just something I should plan on getting rid of soon and refunding. Even though it does, even though Patreon does offer a much better split than Twitch. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the sponsorships. <laughs> I'm in it for the early, holy shit. I'm in it for the early copy of Starfield. Bethesda, please. I wish there were more people like you in the world. I want you to have this. I wish there were more people like you in the world. Here's a drug that canonically in Fallout is really addictive and kills people often. It's basically morphine. Here's some morphine. I want Flintstone's chewable morphine. Who knows what that's from? Nice, my house comes with six free caps. What does your house come with? Uh, oh, I said uh, <laughs> Flintstone's chewable morphine. It's uh, it's from a Simpsons episode. I wish there were more people like you in the world. It's the same gal every day, and no one else. I think she has a crush on me. I think she's into this. She's into this whole collecting a shitload of caps. She just she wants us for our money. That's what she's after. She's after our money, and I won't have it. If I kill her, does she respawn? Oh, I can't wait. I think I'm going to start using the sledgehammer more. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. I got to use the sledgehammer. That has to be my weapon. Dragon 2, how are you? Hola. 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 Good hunting. We're almost at the big 10,000. Game Rage King, hello to you as well. Good to see you guys. If you guys just found the channel browsing through Twitch, welcome. If you are here uh, from the YouTube channel, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Good to see you. We're not recording anything for the channel right now. Looking to trade? But uh please. We are I guess doing a soft problem. challenge. Problem we're solvers. We're trying to get 10,000. That's uh 1% of our final goal. 1 Give million caps in Fallout 3. So if Fallout 3 is ever on the Twitch channel again and we're not doing a specific challenge, that's what we're doing, guys. We're going for 1 million caps. This character right here, L L is going to be a giant W, and we'll have 10,000 caps. Wait. You know what I just realized? <laughs> Hold on, look at this. The, the hockey mask. The hockey mask has a convenient soul patch hole. That way, you can still be defended while out in the wasteland, but also show off your fucking sick facial hair. Double intimidation. Understand very little English. I, uh, I, unfortunately, I'm not bilingual. I wish I was. Honestly, if there's one regret I ever have in life, it's not taking the time to learn Spanish. Uh, when I was younger, I think people who are able to 
very, you know, easily learn other languages is the coolest fucking thing. Uh, I took Brazilian Portuguese when I was in college for, I took an accelerated course that was worth five credits in one semester, and I remember some of that. Eu, uh, oh, uh, obrigado. Obrigado, Dragon 2. Um, eu, eu não falo, uh, Espanha. Eu, eu falo inglês. Now, Espanha. That's the most I can... Is it traductor? Traductor. I don't know. <laughs> no. Uh, but if people in chat do, um, if if people in chat do wish to uh, speak Spanish and other languages in general, I'll never I'll never discourage it. I think one of uh, I think one of the coolest things, just in like human nature in general, is when people are open to trying to teach and learn each other's languages. I think that's awesome. Trying to learn Russian? I knew, I used to work with somebody who knew Russian really, really well. He had to learn it when he was in the, in the Navy. It was, it was a big part. Of, I, I think they, just the team that he was with, they did a lot of communication. Um, it was just a big thing of what they did. They had to learn it. Um, he would always whip out phrases every now and then while we were at work. Dude, I'm listening to your president on the radio. Why are you attacking me? I think the bloody mass American Fallout 3 is the best. <laughs> They've never been able to match it. It's awesome. Oh fuck, that scared me. I'm almost over encumbered. How am I almost over encumbered? How am I over cannot? Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's why. On the horizon, Shadow, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. I actually can't believe I'm still streaming. I'm just having fun. We just we just did these quests on stream not long ago. <laughs> I'm just doing them again. See you again, Shadow. You know what I should be doing is... I, I should be doing the vampire quest. It's, it's a good quest for us to be able to... Scrap metal. The W in my book. 
the vampire quest so we can get money for our blood bags. Ooh, over conumbered. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna leave and come back here. Back seating? How so, Tekeb? What's your uh, what's your number one complaint right now with how I'm playing? Is my gameplay loop not satisfying? Am I not? Am I? Am I? Am I dropping the ball? It's crazy how much the laser rifle is worth. The laser rifle might be the best gun in the game. 742. Maxed out. Not, not even at max uh, health. You want to hear Dagoth wave? Well, Slaws, yes, 1% in liquid capital. But we haven't liquidated. I mean, think about this. Like, each of these translates to, you know, caps. All of this translates to a lot of caps. I'm just putting stuff in here because at one point we'll be able to repair stuff and bulk sell it. In just a giant run of selling. So I would say we're closer to 2%. All right, don't sell it short with what? 1% garbage. I did not mean to just completely quit out of the game. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoops. <laughs> I did not mean to just completely exit the game. I don't know why I did. That was so stupid. Trying to get windowed full screen. Hold on. Hold on. Dagoth Wave will come back. Dagoth Wave will come back. I was trying to get my game into windowed full screen and I completely screwed it up. I don't think there is a windowed full screen. Well, that's annoying. All right. Anyway.
Porcelain. Thank you so much. 250 bits. First time chatter. I wish there were more people like you in this world. Lay down your weapon. It is not too late for my mercy. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating issue. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you. Do I have the bloody mess perk? I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. Welcome, Moon and Star. Come to me through fire and war. Oh, oh, come nera far. Come and look upon the heart. Look upon the heart. Oh, lay down your weapon. It is not too late for my mercy. Oh, oh, come and look upon the heart. Look upon the heart. Oh, 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 I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. No recall or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. Right on the drop. <laughs> I'm a god, god. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. Why does it have to end? What? I mean, like, I get it. The song's got to end. I just wish the song didn't end. I just really wish it didn't end. I know that I know there's an endless version, but it feels like cheating. Fun fact, uh, Mr. Game Rage, that emote you shared? I used to actually dress like that on stream as like a gimmick. This is such a cursed combination. This music with Fallout 3. Whoa. I don't know what just happened.
That is kind of true, though. Dig out there did say, I'm a god. You can't kill a god. Uh, strong words for someone who's dead. Yeah, I used to be really on board with that Dagoth Ur guy, and then he, like, died? <laughs> Threw my whole belief system out of whack. Lots of scrap metal. That's three. Three in one go. Yeah, the answer with hand to hand more scrap metal two more another scrap metal oh my gosh we just won big here carton of cigarettes what the loot in here is insane thank you for your contributions stop stop also i always have to encourage you guys um because it would never feel right young scrolls on youtube if you do consistently listen to his music and or use them in any sort of project or whatever, please consider buying uh, one or many of his albums. He is, in my opinion, probably the most talented <laughs> Elder Scrolls creator by far, and the stuff he does is insane. Especially in some of the hip... I don't like the hip-hop tracks as much, but those are so much more impressive, in my opinion, because they use... He uses, like, wordplay to joke about the game itself, and it works, and it rhymes. He's insane. Super talented and wildly creative. Also, the new newest up-and-coming uh, Elder Scrolls music creator, Mickey D, <laughs> with his Shenmue Digoth Ur rap. Let's go out the other way. The other exit leads us to a pack of super mutants, so we'll be able to take out some super mutants. That should get us to level 8. We'll head back and do another sell-off. And then we're really moving. Sledgehammer has really changed the game for us. Oh, you fuckers again! Did the other guy go and get himself killed? Doesn't count as my kill, but he has a Chinese assault rifle. And we have another copy of that back at home.
Strong back. Easiest perk I've ever had to take in this entire run. Strong back, one million percent. There's another talent company, Merc. He got away from us, though. Coward. Still enemies nearby. <laughs> and then John Henry Eden. I forgot I still had the radio station on in the background. Uh, does anybody have any like video game soundtracks we could use? We could use another one. Oh, eh, what? Could somebody uh, exclamation point uptime? How long have I been live? Probably been live for quite a while. Oh, four, four, oh, 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 only, only four and a half. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Whoops. Time flies when you're having fun. Probably should have been editing. Shut up, Wadsworth. I almost called you Codsworth. Oh, he's out. You don't have any water for me? What the hell do I pay you for? I don't have a combat shotgun in there. Aim. Just put all the hunting rifles in there. Three hundred and sixty-two for that one. Nice little chunk of change. So here's my thought. Now that we're at this point in this playthrough, we stock up on everything. We get it fully repaired so it's super valuable. Then we eventually get barter to level 100 and we just on repeat just spam the uh what's it called? The traders that show up to uh uh, Megaton because what you can do if you complete the Antagonizer slash mechanist quest line, which I think we're powerful enough to do now We won't be doing that today Eight scrap metal. All right, let's turn in our scrap metal. We have 16. Let, let's turn that in And on some sort of a satisfying note, but uh, When you do the quest for Canterbury Commons You can do something which gives all of the traders and all the caravans like a thousand gold or caps. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, no, no, I, I did. I completed that. What? You're kidding, right? But wait, I should mention that proper handling of mole rats could be important if they could be domesticated. Milked, maybe? Uh, anyway, uh, keep the repellent. Oh, but for your trouble, uh, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. Three jet, more drugs, that's all I needed. I definitely needed more drugs. She doesn't even have her, wait, why did I go to Moira? It's not who I was looking for. He's going to turn in my scrap metal. I sure am, Sonny. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. 88 XP. Actually, a solid little chunk of XP. I mean, what does it take to level up? 1100? Honestly, not sure what it is. So I would say 
our net worth is probably close to, and hear me out, I'm extrapolating for when our barter is at level 100, 50,000 caps. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. That's our net worth. I'm making that call. I'm making that call. And you know what other call I'm making? I'm making the call that today has been fun. I hope you've all enjoyed your Saturday. Hope you enjoy your Saturday night. Do something awesome or do something not awesome. Saturday, do whatever the fuck you want. I, uh, I need to go get some food and relax a little bit because tomorrow starts my grind of finishing the next uh, video on the channel. I think we're also going to follow this Skyrim video up with another Skyrim challenge that we'll be doing. This one won't nearly take as long to do slash edit slash make. So I think I may have to move that one up in position in order to get that on the channel because this next one will probably take forever. And uh, that one will be sort of a spiritual successor to the last survival challenge we did way back when. This one will be the all skills permanently at level one legendary difficulty survival mode pain in the ass mod challenge. We'll see. Once again, please support Young Scrolls. I'm rolling credits, baby. Actually, I have to wait. This one time I came to skin breath. I was tired and feeling down. Then rolling I credits, there we go. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Because as soon as the credits finish, stream comes down. For Moira Brown, Chaos Cassades, the deer on the side, James Corden, and little shithead Rufus. Oh, and Mick D. Right up there. And hey, you're not invited. You're not on the set. You want to be on the set, but you're you're just on the outside. Okay, All right. We only have real Irishmen on this show. That's why James Corden is on set. Oh, that's end of it. Sorry.